Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky Adventure. <laughs> Another day to get Treasure Town stuck in my head again. It's always the greatest, isn't it? As always, big old thanks to the individuals whose efforts helped create the expanded sky rom hat mod rom hat rom hack mod as always the link to it can be directly found in the description of the youtube videos and youtube streams that i do of this game because it is very nice but as i said i did remember that we have had the special episode for a bit bidoof switch which I have never played any of the special episodes before. So this will be very interesting. So let's go and see what Bidoof's Wish is all about. All right, here we go today. Our morning cheers. All together now. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Oh, hey, it's us. We exist here. Interesting. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! I did select the right one, right? Neon, let's do our best on our guild assignments today. Neon's team, they're so happy today. Yep, yep. I'm... I'm not giving up either. Yep, yep. My name's Bidoof. I'm an apprentice at the guild. Before Neon arrived, I was the newest apprentice here. Yep, yep. Don't you mean Neon and Silas? We arrived at the same time. My, my dream is to do my best at the guild. Study and someday... Someday I'll be the best explorer ever. Yep, yep. That's kind of neat. Special episode one, Bidoof's Wish. That's right. My dream is to be the best explorer. Oh, oh this is nice. Nice. Uh, I just see the art and I immediately go, Ugh. to do that. I've come to the most famous place among explorers. I've come to train at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's guild. Yep, yep. Well, I'm off. Please say hello to everyone in the guild for me. Yep, yep. Oh, and be careful. You're kind of a big eater. Don't you go eating anything weird. Remember, if you get in trouble, you can always come back home to us. I adore the fact that she is called Bidoof's Mama. That is adorable. Yeah, I remember dur uh, draining the main story before the episodes. I decided that I'll go ahead and do the, the special episodes as things come along, because why not? Mama. Do your best, big bro. Take care. You guys. I'm fine. Don't you worry about me. Yep, yep. When I come home, I'll be big. I'll make you proud of me. Just wait and see. That is adorable. By golly, everyone. I'm off. Do your best. I just kind of realized I'm kind of doing a, a more emphasized Donald's voice from Fire Emblem Awakening. I've only done the Grovile one, but it's great to see the other characters' view of us as the player. That is very nice. <laughs> so, I left my hometown and into the Guildmaster's Guild as an apprentice. But the training at the Guild, for me, was more difficult than I thought. Hey! Not yet! You're slow, Bidoof! Yes, I'm here. Ooh, sorry to keep you waiting. Here it is. Yep, yep. Here's your reviver seed. Is it going to be a reviser seed? What? Is 
this, huh? This is a doom seed, isn't it? No, genius! Bring me the right one! Eek! Didn't matter what I did. I always mess it up. And then another time... I do kind of like... Crunch, munch, jump, jump. I wonder what this is. Oh, no, you fool. <laughs> You're eating a perfect apple, ain't you? You're gonna be eaten alive. It's so yummy, chum chum. Oh, Bidoo, what are you doing here? Huh? Oh, that? That is the Guildmaster's important perfect apple. Huh? Perfect apple. Golly, is that what this thing here is called? It's so tasty and impressive, yip yip. <laughs> Just not, didn't pick up on any social cues. Poor, poor guy. Bidoo, no! Indeed. Uh, thanks for the grub. Wait, did you seriously eat all of them? Yep, yep. Oh, sorry. Did you want one too, Cheddar? If you would have told me, I would have left you one. What? What did you do? What did you do? Eh? Uh oh, was it? Golly, did I do something wrong? More than wrong! If his favorite perfect apples are all gone, the Guildmaster. The Guildmaster! Oh no! Oh no! It would be horrific! As punishment, you'll go without dinner! Got it? B but. Oh, golly, I didn't mean it. My hunger just gets me into trouble. I like that this kind of implies that there are other meals throughout the day. I guess like we can go into the into the larder and grab munchables for ourselves throughout the day. And it's just a bit of gameplay story segregation. I wonder what the timeline is for like normal everyday in universe dungeon crawling. Then again, it could just be other things around the guild need doing, and so if you can, you can get lunch. The Golden Retriever of Pokemon, Bidoof. A super fan favorite nowadays. And I couldn't eat my favorite meal of the day. Poor guy. Golly, I thought I was doing my best. But I always mess things up every time. I guess it just don't have I just don't have what it takes to be an explorer. I'll never be the best explorer. I just can't do it. I was really beginning to think that. But then that that happened. What happened, Bidoof? Oh, is this before we arrived? Three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work! Hooray! Oh, hey, Badoo. Yes? What is it? Today is a sign up. Please go to Kecleon Market and find out how many orange berries they have for sale today. Huh? What's wrong, Badoo? You're always doing little errands like this. It's nothing too difficult. Oh, golly, it's not that. Just that I seem to always be running errands. What I really want to do is get is to get exploration assignments, yep, yep. Don't you think I can do a job from the job bulletin board sometime? What? This isn't a joke. If I let you do one of those assignments right now, how badly do you think you would mess it up? Please. Talk about brutal. Then I'll just, I'll just, story of my life, yep, yep. Bidoof, don't be so impatient. You're just a little slower than everyone else. Golly, you don't have to be so direct. But I know the day will come where you'll get to do exploration assignments. If you want to be a top explorer, you have to start somewhere. Do your best and work hard at your training. So you're telling me I just need to be patient? By golly, I get it. I'm going to work hard, yep, yep. That's right, just like that. Now that you get it, if you could uh, go run that errand I mentioned, uh, please go to Kecleon Market and find out how many orange berries they have for sale today. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. The special episode Bidoof's Wish stars Bidoof as the main character. 
you will progress through the story of Bidoof as the playable character. So just as Chetot requested, head to Kekwion Market in Treasure Town. Also, you can save your progress at the watering hole or Bidoof's bed. The watering hole is in the intersection. Yeah, we already know that. Bidoof's bed is in the right and down in the crew rooms. When you want to save your progress, please go to the watering hole or Bidoof's bed. So I guess that kind of implies that this is going to be a bit long. I wonder how long this special episode... Of... Oh, this is interesting. We actually get to see other rooms! This is cool! This episode made my heart sink, but it was a sort of a hateful crime because one, I had my heart sink and I was mad at Chatot at the same time. I can see that. Interesting. I just find it interesting that we can actually kind of explore the different rooms. So we have three rooms here. I guess they decided since the like uh, the normal characters only go all the way to the right, they don't need to have that extra scene in there. All right, time to buck up and work hard. Let's do our best, Loudred. <laughs> Today seems to be another long day. Well, don't just loaf around. Take care of your chores, man. <laughs> this is very interesting. We're Team Seed Geek. We're Seed Off and Pidgey. Our team named Seed Geek combines our names. So remember it. I think we already done that. Sunflower, I want to talk to you. Well, it's time to do our daily chores. Indeed. Do. Hey, Corfish. Ah, so this is before Spenda Cafe got opened up. Hey, hey, Bidoof! Are you headed out? You've had a few setbacks so far, but no worries! Hey, hey, hey! Incidentally, did you know that you can also make a record of your adventure at the watering hole? You don't have to head all the way back to your bed. You can do that too! Hey, hey! It's convenient when you want to make a record of your progress frequently, so don't forget! Hey, hey! Do, 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 do. I like this. This is neat. Like, how could you starve the sweet Bidoof? To be, f to be fair, at the very least, he got the perfect apple before. He had a meal that day. Just look at what Silas and Neon went through when they got staved off. I don't think they had any meals that day except for the apples they had during the dungeon that day. I have no items. I have hardly a team. Oh, Bidoof, greetings, Gekka. Today's such a nice day, isn't it? Good luck with your work. Oh, you're a member of Wiggly Tough Skill? Hey, Spoink! I don't think there's been a Spoink bouncing about just yet, or was there? Oh, hey, Bidoof, good to see you. How are you? Um, well, it's like, yep, my god, how about you, Spoink? I'm doing great, wonderful, superb, just swimmingly. The pearl on top of my head is also radiant. That, that's good, yep, yep. To tell the truth, I'm a little jealous. Oh, okay. I hope you feel better soon, Bidoof. We go, this is actually open? Interesting. I'm not going to brave it. Electivire is not here, though. Let me look at what... Well, yeah, that, that about checks. He's level 10. Not bad. <laughs> that IQ, though. Poor boy. Simple. Makes any modification to the Pokemon stats more extreme. Huh. Unaware. Enables the Pokemon to ignore a foe stat modification. That is kind of amusing. Category. Plump Mouse Pokemon. And we don't know where he joined. But what are your moves? Tackle, Growl, and Defense Curl. Ow. He is only level 10, but still. Whew! Here's Kecleon Market. Howdy! Welcome to Kecleon Shop. Have you come to shop? Not quite. Sorry to bother you, but I'm not here to buy anything. Just asking about inventory as always. So disappointing. But that's alright, don't worry. Inventory inquiries are no problem. Really. What have you come to check in on? 
Orin berries? Really sorry to bother you, sorry. No, no, it's no bother at all. Let's see, orange berries. We have two in stock today. Two of them. Okay, thanks. Do your best at work. Poor guy. Huh? Is there something else? No, well, there's nothing more I need to do. I just have a little problem. Oh, what kind of problem? It's okay to ask me about it. Come on, spit it out. The truth is that no matter what I do, I always seem to mess it up. I'm always making mistakes at the guild. I don't want to be an explorer like all the other apprentices in the guild. For example, to become an explorer really quickly, what should I do? Oh, that's it. You just need a TM. TM? That's the way? Yep. With a TM, you can learn a new move. If you did that, you'd be very helpful in explorations. Yes, you'll definitely be helpful. Hmm, how about... Here it is. How about this one? Hidden power. Hidden power? That sounds pretty strong. That's right. It's a very strong move. If you use this TM, you could learn hidden power. Is that right? If I learn hidden power, then I could be more useful. And the guild members would appreciate me more. If I buy this, then the day I become the best explorer will get closer. By the way, how much is this hidden power thing? Oh, you're interested in buying it? I'm excited. The price, let me see. It's 6,500 pokey. Why? It's that expensive. You're surprised? Well, TMs are very expensive. But you think that's too expensive, right? Oh, no. Please hold on a moment. Uh, what should I do? Should I buy it? Should I? I don't know. To tell the truth, I've got the money for it, but... I've got my own money. I always carry with me 7,000. Is that just pocket money in this world? It can't be, because he thought that ex that's expensive. But, but this money... This money? Take this with you. It's a farewell gift. I always knew this day would come. So I've been saving up little by little. Please use it in case of emergency. Mama. There, there. You always were a bit of a crybaby. Your mama's rooting for you. Even though you're going far away, you always do your best, you hear? Mama. Thank you, Mama. Yeesh, I feel kind of bad. The story! They're going all in. This is the emergency money I got from Mama. I can't just spend it carelessly. I considered it, but I'll have to pass on buying it. Is that so? That's too bad. Thank you so very much for listening to me. See ya. Anytime. If you change your mind, come back anytime. Now that you've said that, how can I ever make up my mind for sure? Yep, yep. But it's fine. Impulse buying isn't good. It's too bad, but I'm going to give up on the TM. Uh, scary. Um, um, what should I do? Excuse me, hold this. Receive something from the strange Pokemon. Huh? Golly, what is this? He's a thief, ain't he? Hey, you, wait! Just now? What was that, anyway? Did you see him? Bagon! Nope. Last sight of him. Blast! Where'd he disappear to? Hey, you! Uh, yes? Did you just see a lone Pokemon run through here? A Pokemon? Let me see. Come on, we're in a hurry! Quit your taking your time and just spit it out already! Eh, eh, it's scary! Hey, hold on, Gliger. White body looking kind of nervous. Did you see him? Um, uh, th that is... He went that way. Let's go! Yeah. Well, at least they didn't beat me up. I guess, I guess Gliger hit him with a glare. So that kind of makes sense. Or a scary face. Yeah, when I saw the price of the TM when looking at the price, I saw the price that got knocked out of me. It would be it would be kind of interesting to know what like the pokey currency translates to in our world, like how much it would be worth. 
They were pretty scary. I'm not very brave, so I don't want to have anything to do with Pokemon like them. But what did you get from that weird Pokemon? <laughs> 7,500? Exactly. Utterly mad. Then again, like, when we did our first job, it was like 1,500. And like, wow, this is a lot. Then it got bumped down to 150. Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. <laughs> Doug Trio just backdoors in. And I was like, I just started playing. Yep. Wow, the table's really empty without us there. Are you going to look over the thing that that you got from that weirdo Pokemon? <laughs> Poor guy, he wakes up, he lives with Floudred. Phew, today was a really long day, yep, yep. Those two are already asleep. I'll have to get up early tomorrow. Guess I should probably get to bed too, yep, yep. Good night, you all. I wonder who wakes up Loudred. Who wakes him up? How does he wake him? A few minutes later. <laughs> so he's also a loud snorer. I do like that they kind of have the sound effect for snoring. <laughs> Snoring too loud. I can't sleep. I'd like to wake Loudred up, but if I did that, he'd be pretty angry, and that's a scary thought. The anxiety it attacks, don't it? Speaking of scary, those two I met earlier today. Those Pokemon sure were scary. Yep, yep. Just before those two showed up, it was that Pokemon that seemed to be running away and then disappeared. That Pokemon. He was probably being chased by those two scary Pokemon. If that was the case, I hope he got away, all right. That's right. When the Pokemon ran off... Do we really need a flashback? Excuse me. Hold this. Uh, golly, what is this? Hey, you! Wait! What did you get? What is the mystery? Right, then... That Pokemon handed me something. And right afterward, those two scary-looking Pokemon arrived. I was so scared I couldn't remember what happened. But no matter how I try to figure it out, I just can't. I guess I should look and see. This is pretty old. It looks like a map. Huh? There's some kind of mark. It looks like there's something written. What could be written here, I wonder? Let's see. Star Cave. At this marked spot. Seems like a place that called Star Cave. However, Star Cave, it certainly sounds enticing. Somehow I just got a feeling. There has to be something really special there. Oh, I'm so excited I can't sleep. Yep, yep. Nope, I have to sleep if I want to do any good at training tomorrow. I really should sleep. Good night, y'all. And then the return of the snores. At this point, they need to renovate and give Loudred his own place. Make him sleep in the lookout bunker. Sleep. Yep, yep. Sleep a ton. Poor guy. He'll never go to sleep. The next morning. Hey! Hey! Get up! It's morning! Uh-huh. What's that? How late will you sleep? The morning address is starting. Hurry up. Oh, whose fault do you think it is? I can't get up in the first place. Hey, snoring made it really hard for me to sleep. Yep, yep. But if I don't get up, I'll miss the morning address. I've got to hurry. Would you like to save your adventure? Of course I would. I kind of like that it's just been story up till this point. And three smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. 
Hooray! Huh? Something wrong, Bidoof. Put staring off into space and get to your assignments. Cheer up, you know a lot of stuff, don't you? Yes, that's right. I know a lot of information. I'm an encyclopedia. <laughs> Is there something you wanted to ask me? You don't have to hesitate. Go ahead and ask. But uh, please keep it brief. I don't really have the time to dawdle. I'm not really confident. Cheer up. Do you know anything about a place called Star Cave? Star Cave? Hmm. Yes, I think I've heard of it. Huh? Really? Yes, of course I have. Didn't I just tell you I'm like an encyclopedia? <laughs> well, Star Cave is a legendary place, but nobody knows where it is. But nobody knows? Golly. That's right. It's a legend that's been passed down for generations. The truth is buried in history, but according to the legend, deep within Star Cave, the rare Pokemon Jirachi lies sleeping. It's said that if you can wake Jirachi, he'll grant you a wish. Huh? He'll grant you a wish? A wish? Who needs the hidden power when you can just, like, steal a wish from a god? A wish granted rare Pokemon. His name is Drachi? He... Uh, hey now, it's only a legend. I already said that nobody knows where the cave is, didn't I? Hey! Hey, Badoof. Badoof, what are you thinking of? Badoof. If I meet Drachi, he can grant a wish. Uh, um, um, that could be my dream best. My dream to be the best explorer ever. Jirachi can make it come true, yep, yep. And I've got that map with Star Cave marked on it. Got, mm, I've got that map in my possession now, yep, yep. Star. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one who knows where Star Cave is. Just little old me. If I had a map that led to Star Cave, I would have made a backup map, like, immediately. This, this is so, so cool, so awesome, yep, yep, so, I'm so happy, I could bust. Hey, huh? Are you all right, Badoof? You kind of spaced out for a minute, and you were smiling to yourself. Something happened? Nope, 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 N nothing at all, no siree. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking of anything, not about Star Cave, golly, no. Is that so? You say you weren't thinking of anything, but that's a bit suspicious. I can't get myself away! With that mischievous smirk, you had to be thinking of something, don't you agree? Like you were sick excited about something. But that was the point. Like, you were so excited about something that you thought you would just burst. But no, no, uh, how in the world did he know about that? Hey, Bidoof! Yes, what is it? You've got a visitor! Huh? A visitor? G Golly, a visitor? For me? Yeah, that's right! They're waiting by the guild entrance! Hurry up and get out there! Ah, oh, it's this guy. Oh. Huh? You are? You're from yesterday. Yes, nice to meet you. M my name is Snover. I'm really sorry to have caused you trouble yesterday. Never mind that. What about those scary Pokemon that were chasing you? Uh, are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. But truth is, I had a bit of a scary encounter. What? Scary encounter? What happened? After we met, I tried my best to run away. But Fagon and Gliger caught up with me. You fool, you're at Sharkpedo Bluff, you can't escape. Ha! Finally caught you. You really ran for it! <laughs> Ow! Let go of me! Nope. You know what we're looking for. You of all people should know. Not here! The map's not here! Bagon, 
He doesn't have the map. What? You. Where'd you stash it? I... I don't know. Liar! Ouch! Oh, no matter what, no matter what you do, I'm not telling you. Ah! He has to have stashed it around here somewhere. Look for it! So he didn't steal it. Maybe. They seem far too mean to have been stolen from. Eek! That sounds pretty scary. Oh, that reminds me. That thing that Bagon and Gliger were looking for. Was it? That's right. That thing I gave you yesterday, Bidoof. The ancient map. Yesterday I was sure that if I held on to that map, it would get stolen from me. So I decided that I had no choice but to hand it to someone. And then I saw you, Bidoof. Afterward, I asked around Treasure Town about you. They all said that it was probably Bidoof from this guild. And so I came here to thank you. I'm really sorry to have caused you so much trouble. I'm not sure if I can trust this guy. He seems better than Bagon and Gliger. But at the same time, if he stole the ancient map, who knows? <laughs> I mean, who knows, who knows? No, no, you don't have to apologize. Don't worry about it, by golly. I've been thinking about that map you handed me. Is it really a map to Star Cave? That's right. It said that's where the rare Pokemon Jirachi lives. That Star Cave. If you meet Jirachi, he'll grant you a wish. That's why those two Pokemon wanted to steal the map. Speaking of which, I have a request to make. Yes? What is it? W would you come with me to explore Star Cave? What? Really, you want a little old me to come along? It'd be kind of interesting if this guy was actually a dear friend of Bidoof after this adventure, but I'm kind of worried that he's going to get betrayed. I would say I burned it. It would make it sense to my character being a Chimchar. I don't think I'd be able to lie about it. Because, I mean, at the very least, we should give him a shot. You really want to come, little old me, to come along? Yes. I really want to meet Jirachi and make a wish, but... But... I'm not strong enough to make it very far by myself. So I was hoping you would come with me, Bidoof. You seem really dependable, Bidoof. And kind. There's nobody I'd rather go exploring with than Bidoof. This little man who have I've known for like a collective five minutes. But this is a sudden request. I hope I'm not bothering you. They seem to be both anxiety baskets. No, no. Not at all. Yep, yep. The truth is I was thinking of making a wish too. It's okay. I really want to go to Star Cave too. Yep, yep. Really? Yeah, I'm so happy. If we work together, we could definitely meet Jirachi. Is Diglett listening to all this? Nope. So that's how Snover and I decide to go to Star Cave together. Yep, yep. But I had guild training to do. Yep, yep. So... What? You want to take time off from guild training? By time off, I just mean a couple of days. Yep, yep. What is your reason for wanting to take time off? Huh? Reason? The reason I want to take time off, um, um... Oh, I haven't been feeling good lately. Yep, yep. My stomach really hurts. Ooh. <laughs> He's pulling a part partner from rescue team. Oh, my stomach. It's too hurt. Your stomach hurts. You the one with the cast iron stomach. Last night at dinner, you were the only one to ask for seconds, am I right? And now you're saying that your stomach hurts. Oh, I eat too much. I see. This seems really strange. All right. Your request for a day off is granted. Just don't cause any trouble for other teams, okay? Thank you. I ended up suddenly having to lie to chat up, but... But... But it's all right. My dream... If I can make my dream of becoming the best explorer ever come true. If I could do that, then maybe I won't miss up guild assignments anymore. And I won't cause trouble for anyone anymore. Everyone will be so happy. Yep, yep. This is a rare chance. I've got to take advantage of this chance. I've just got to. Yep, yep. We should make sure we prepare before going out exploring. But I don't really want to do anything that would draw attention to me. 
Fagon and Gliger are still looking for that map. They might be hanging around here. It's kind of scaring me. Yikes. I've got it. You just leave the exploration preparations to me. I can do it. And you should hide somewhere, Snover. Stay out of sight. I'm sorry. I'll find a hiding place right around here. When you're ready to head to the dungeon, Bidoof, I'll slip away and join you. So once you've finished preparing, please head for the dungeon. See you later. He's a little... like... shady, but I kind of like him. Got it. All right, I need to head into Treasure Town and get ready to explore. I'll do my best. Da -da -da. I do like that they put these kind of blah blah blah. This this scenario in it's super cool. Oh, Bidoof, are you headed somewhere? Take care. Oh, a raid! Thank you, VTuber Messino, for the raid of five viewers on Twitch. We are here experiencing the special episodes that I've never experienced before. Glitch Raid, a wild Missino has appeared in your chat. Quite an exciting moment. I've heard that guild training is really hard, but is it really that difficult? For Bidoof it is. Oh, hi, Bidoof. Errands again today? You're working hard as always. Poor Bidoof. He can't even go to Electivire. That's probably because we don't have any money. YouTube chat says, Honestly, I do think about character interaction. I constantly think about what the funny interactions. It's a lot of fun. Characters in these games are just super good. Holy crap, your vocal range is impressive. Thank you very much. How's my day going? Decently, decently. I made brownies, I'm having tea, and I'm playing some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It's a lot of fun. Hey, Bidoof. Hello. I've been doing well, but I've been so happy the pearl on top of my head started to come loose. I'm worried it might fall. This pearl is everything to me. It seems like more bad Pokemon are appearing lately. If my pearl gets stolen... I don't know what I would do, but maybe I'm just worrying too much. Worrying so much isn't good for my health. That makes me worry even more. <laughs> How about you, Vigoroff? Yo, Bidoof! How's your life treating you? Work hard at your training. Work real hard! Work hard and do your best! And how about you, Mama Kangaskhan? Huh, Bidoof? Long time no see. You want to use the storage? My dear, anything you want to store, I'll take good care for you. Is there even anything in here? There is. Oh! Oh, oh, we have access to our normal storage. Great. Nice, I just finished up playing the game myself. Saw you in this category, thought your design was cool, so here I am. Thank you very much. Yeah, I played Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team, a few months ago last year. And even though I know that I played this game, I really want to really, really experience it. I forgot I can actually bulk take, but... Yeah, because I don't remember too, too much about this game. So I really want to go in and fully experience it. Like, truly, truly. Do I even have any Reviver Seeds that I put in here? I don't know. I have one. I don't know how bad the Star Cave will be, or Wish Cave. <laughs> Definitely taking notes. <laughs> it's an amazing game. You make a great choice. It's very cool. Also, just a note for you, dear Raider, I'm playing the Expanded Sky ROM hack slash mod. Oh, and because it, like, uh, has a few quality of life changes, adds the fairy type to a few Pokemon, and as well as opens up a bunch of different starter Pokemon. I chose to be a Zoroa. It's a lot of fun. I guess we'll take some gravel rocks, because I have no idea what's going to be in store for me for this. So I'll, I'll take a few items and I guess we'll head to Star Cave. Oh, I, I don't have any bots <laughs> in my chat. I had Nightbot once. It was a nightmare, but I don't have a Discord. But I have a few items because, again, I have no idea what to expect from this. It's a s preset situation, so hopefully it won't be evil, but who knows. <laughs> By the way, you gain the money and items in your storage when you finish. Oh, that's cool. So, like, special uh, episode stuff carries over. That's super cool. Man, now I'm wishing I did that version instead of the base game. It's always replaying. Because it even adds the ability to evolve Eevee into Sylveon. 
Because originally, I was going to do my, oh, like, old school team that I played this game years and years ago with Eevee and Rialu. But this time, I'm like, wait a minute, I have, I found this. And I was like, well, I'll try it, I'll give it a shot. Granted, there does seem to be a bit of a glitch in my experience with Bristle Mountain, where later, like, levels begin to, like, hang the emulator, so I don't know. I I think it's just Bristle, because it hasn't happened anywhere yet, else yet. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Well, I think I have everything. Let's go. Bidoof. Hello there, Snover. I still want to trust you. Please don't backstab me. Looks like we're ready. All right, let's go explore Star Cave. I'm a bit nervous. It's all right. Yep, yep. We don't have anything to worry about when we're together. You've been together like three times total for a total of like ten minutes. Yeah. Let's do our best. Yep, yep. I was half expecting Bagon and Gliger to follow us. Because, again, I don't know if Snover's bad or if it's going to be a twist that Gliger and Bagon are just angry. Be huh. He is more than double my level. Oh, no. I don't know what to expect from this. I'm already scared. Oh, hey, you. Let's see. I guess I'll tackle you. Okay, maybe it's not going to be that bad anyway. I feel like if the Chimchar truly... Uh, it would be chaotic considering my humor. <laughs> oh, okay, tons of items. Sure. Let's move on. I just noticed... Wait a minute, I want to see. I want to see something, my dude. I'm kind of scared, but I'm fine as long as you're here, Bidoof. Are you the one causing the... I can't access your moves, tactics, or anything. You are literally an escort. Interesting. So let's see, what is your... S nothing. I'm kind of scared of you. Okay, we have to kill this guy before he does anything. And I guess I could defense curl. Not sure how long that will protect me. But yeah, they're just giving out, like, everything. They're giving reviver seeds, apples, orange berries, everything. I d Ooh, this is nice. Super cool. In some ways, I'm kind of disappointed that I never played the special episodes before this. And on the other hand, I'm kind of happy that I didn't, because now I get to experience them for the first time here. And the music! I really like it. Mystery Dungeon music just hits different, man. It's just super cool. I also stumbled across a video with music from, like, Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. So now I'm just like, do I just binge the entire series? Because I really want to experience all of it. Super cool. I should probably eat an orange berry. I have tons of them. No snover, nothing for you. Because you're an escort and not an, like, actual Pokemon partner... I have half a mind that you're gonna betray me. Oh, hey! They're all orbs. I don't care about buying orbs. I don't think I could afford them. The music is interesting. Oh, hey. Talking about orb. Ah, uh, yes, an escape orb. That orb that I can't... I don't think I should use, because this is a dedicated diddly D. And, of course, the way that I didn't go was actually the true way all along. Come fight me, Chingling. Oh dear. Oh dear God. Never let him attack anything again. Why do you have swagger? That is just going to... Okay.
I feel like Bidoof should have a bonus thing where if he, he if he eats apples, he also heals like an Orenberry. I feel like th that would fit him very well. Then again, they're throwing a million Reviver Seeds at me. Oh, I guess the other room is this way. It must be a very teeny tiny room. But I guess while we do this, I shall ramble about the expanded Sky Mod. Did I, did I, did I, did I, did I miss? Oh, I missed a way. I'm a fool. I'm a triple fool. I'm just like, wait a minute. Where's the way out of here? I missed another road. Or I am a fool. But as we traverse Star Cave, I shall ramble about the expanded Sky Mod. There's a link to it in my YouTube video stream, because I do stream. I have nothing to lose. And it is really cool. It has a bunch of different starter Pokemon from different generations. Fan favorites like Rockruff, Zoroa added in. There are so many, like, Pokemon that, that they added, they actually had to split the mod into two different versions. So there might be a little bit of incompatibility of, like, I think it is partners and, like, chosen starter Pokemon. But honestly, I really like it. Oh, hey, I actually did something. <laughs> he attacked the opponent that was statusing me with status. Damn, for real, they did that? Yep, they wanted to add so many different, well, expanded starters, that they're like, we'll do it in two different versions. And I think it worked out pretty well. Like, the only downside to the... I, <laughs> for a moment there, I thought that he... I, he doomed us. They turned out the lights for... in totality. You bastard. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, my brain. Because I was saying a thing, then I got distracted. But yeah, the only downside is the patching process, because you need a, a ROM of your own to apply the ROM hack patch to. And the only problem is you have to manually set, like, the extension name when, you, when you're doing the patching. Else it'll just be a random file and won't be able to be loaded. That's just something to be aware of. I suppose we'll get on our way. We've explored decently. We found another Max Elixir, so I can just absolutely annihilate my foes. I need to use Defense Curl more. It won't help against the hail that Snover is inflicting upon me. At least I think that it's him inflicting it upon me. I think that's just... Oh no, that's Gravel Rock. Oh yeah, I need to set Gravel Rock as my throwable. Yes, yes, I know, game. This might be Bidoof's first time going through a dungeon, but I'm a veteran. I blew up a meteor! Well, I convinced a Pokemon to blow up a meteor. It's basically the same thing. Lots of orb Kecleons. How does the Kecleon brothers know about this place? That's a question. I basically have to wait until the vi- Oh, we are getting hungry. Let's eat an apple. Apple! Hey, apple! Apple! Although I just thought about it, if my... Okay, <laughs> that low tad just co spontaneously combusted. Oh, j Reviver seat time, you bastard. Let's see. Where's that used Reviver seed? Yep, plain seed, we munch. Mom. Oh, nothing happened? They don't let it, uh... What is the word? Uh, fill your belly slightly? By the way, my uh, stat boots reset going down a floor, uh, no matter what. Yeah, that, uh, that I knew. It's just that I n I'd never really had a stat boost move before, so I don't really think to utilize it. 
every floor. I, like, see an enemy and then I use it. I'm almost surprised that it doesn't attack the... Like, uh, the Kecleon. Oh, hey, an apple! I'm just gonna do it twice, because why not? But yeah, the more time I spend with this guy, the more I wonder. Is he actually a criminal, and did he steal from Bagon and Gliger? And he's just playing us for a fool? That would be mean to poor, poor, poor Bidoof. He deserves better than you. Then again, if we make it out of here alive, we're gonna have a lot of money. A lot of money to buy hidden power with. You bastard. Die, you tadball freak. Your soul is mine. Down the tunnel of infinite infiniteness. Every few steps, we get hit by hail. <laughs> now I'm just imagining actual, like, the hail replaced with miniature Saxton hails from Team Fortress 2. Saxton hail! Just <laughs> all of them screaming. Saxton hail as they fall. Saxton hail is the greatest. <laughs> Pokemon of them all. Obviously. Hello, Mr. Saxon Hill. Oh, hey, level up for the boy. Oh, shucks. I leveled up. But back to my joke. Oh, hey, Mr. Saxon Hill. What team are you going to use for the Elite Four Challenge? I'm going to use my big, beefy muscles. I don't think that's allowed. I own the league now. And I've rewritten all the rules to say I can punch you. He do it too. The wacko man. Could be that I'm just a fool, but I wonder if there are like Saxton Hale esque characters in the Pokemon world. You know, like, I'm going to find a bunch of animals, and then I'm going to fight the animals with my bare hands. Because there has to be. There has to be crazy people in the Pokemon world. I mean, just look at Ash. He's probably only mid-tier, half crazy. Hey, boy. I can't even do my... Oh. It's the halfway point. Neat. We've gone pretty far. Aren't we to Jirachi's place yet? Hmm, I don't really know either. It's probably close. We just need to go a little farther. Is that right? All right, let's dig our heels in. I'll do my best. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. I think B is one of them. Fun fact about reading that is... Uh, way back when I played... Uh, what was it called? What's it called? I can't... I forget it. Oh man, I forget it. But it's basically, it's like night something. Night in the Woods, Night in the Woods. Great game, I love it. But like one of the characters is called B for like Beatrice. I always, oh, I forget like Bea. I forget, I, man, I already forgot how I pronounced her name. Cause I was like, looked at that, I was like, ah. From Sword and Shield. <laughs> but I just, oh man, I had a fob, now it's all gone. I don't really know where Jirachi lives, but I think we're almost there, let's keep moving. Would you like to go on? Deep Star Cave. What would happen if I selected no? Good job. You murdered that guy. Hmm. Is there anything that I want to leave on the ground? I do like that... Like... The inventory and stuff carries over from, like, the main game, and then apparently stuff goes back again. It's super cool. <laughs> Prevent sleep. I don't... I don't know how many Chesto berries. I know we have a lot of Pekka berries. So... 
We'll come here. And we'll swap. Because having a bunch of apples is very good. Apples is godly. I just realized the border for the the border tiles are crystals. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. I forgot I forgot to do my defense curl. The music, the design, everything. The weather has become clear. Neat. Dolpin? Oh man, he lost his job at the link shop. Now he's wandering. Oh no! He just wanted to attain the glory of having a link shop there in Treasure Town. Since it's not on his shop tile, this shouldn't be stealing, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. Kecleon is the devil. I leave. I just know that the moment that I don't trust any item. Like, if it was a normal dungeon, I could. Maybe, for the good, for the giggles. But I don't want to put poor, the poor boy through that. Okay, why are you actually somewhat intelligent, Snover? I move out of the way, you immediately use your ranged attack. Please be good, and be just like a friend in the background that... Badoof has that we don't meet in the main game. I would love that. I would love that dearly. Also, just noticed, thank you game for seemingly again only emulation crashing on Mount Bristle and none of like the story missions. I do appreciate that. I'm not using any of my Gragville rocks. I guess we can just eat it off the ground. Rest? Rest. I don't know about what rest does. I am I am but a fool. Nom nom. I once accidentally stole due to forgetting due to the size of my bag. Ha! Ah! And then you had to fight the Kecleon Union. Oh Jesus Christ! I took so much damage! Fuck! Aha. Uh -huh. You mew, you bastard. You are hurting me. Why would you hurt me? I am but a little boy. Die. Thank you for not using your water gun. And, and now it's hailing again. Great. I thought I was free! <laughs> Never going near him again. Especially unless you want to get all the, like, recruitable Pokemon. Then you're, you're gonna have to deal with him. Apparently his recruitment rate is absolutely insane. Insanely low. So I just kind of realized I kind of want the hail because it damages all of, like, the other Pokemon in the dungeon so that when they get to me, they're weak. 0.01%. I thought that it was actually in... Oh, uh, if that's if you actually put everything on top. Because, if I remember correctly, it's actually, like, negative something, something, something. And then, it is with, like, a friendship bow and hi the highest level. Then, you get the 0.01% chance for recruitment. Either that or wishing for a new teammate at Jirachi down the depths of one of the hardest dungeons. And that's only if you already have all the other recruitable Pokemon. Although I think they changed that in the DX version on the Switch. No idea why. Maybe they thought it was too easy. I guess I could eat it off the ground. Ingest. Bidoof is getting swole. And the fast uh, friend IQ skill. Kecleon. To get him to join? Well, then again, I suppose it kind of makes sense why his recruitment rate would be so, like, low. Because... 
you did steal from him. So you're basically stealing from him, beating him up and saying, Hey there, Kecleon. Would you like to join me? And he's like, You stole from me! Why should I do that? And you're like, Yeah, good point. And you basically have to super convince him. It kind of makes sense, I suppose. And again, love the music. The music's so good. Oh, nice. He turned frozen like an idiot. Oh. I am the fool. Deep Star Cave. It's so pretty in here. Please don't betray me, Snover. Huh? This... This looks like a dead end. This looks like the deepest part. The depths of Star Cave. Where's Jirachi? <laughs> he betrayed us, dammit. I wanted Bidoof to have a friend. Who, who's there? <laughs> Who is there? <laughs> you really are so gullible to come trustingly all the way here. Snover was a part of their gang. Ow. Shit. Huh? Who are you? <laughs> Long time no see. Haven't seen you since we met at Treasure Town. <laughs> what? How you doing here? Jirachi's place in Star Cave is... I thought me and Snover were the only ones who had met and knew how to get here. Why are you? Why are you here? Ha! Huh. Jirachi was never here. What? Star Cave, Jirachi, they were all made up. They were never here from the start. That's what I'm saying. You are tricked into coming here. By us. You see... What? Us? What do you mean, us? We're the band of thieves, Team Rogue. We trick our marks and take what we want. We're thieves. We're rogues. Do you get it yet? We're the bad guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't really... I don't really have all that much. Everything I got up to here was the... Ba, 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 the items we got. So I guess they're gonna take my 6,000 pokey. Or 7,000 pokey. Like, as soon as I saw him one-shot my teammate, so, well, it's like scramble. <laughs> yeah, Kecleon. And I am their leader. The Great Snover! <laughs> that time, when you were standing in front of Kecleon's shop stewing, he saw the emergency fund. What should I do? Should I buy it? Shouldn't I? I don't know. To tell you the truth, I've got the money for it, but I've got my own money. I always carry it with me. 7,000. Probably should have left it at the guild. Probably. Probably, probably. Right then, we were watching you. When you pulled out that big wad of money, what a mark. I suddenly had an idea. I thought that money was ours to take, but if we mugged you right then and there, there would have been an uproar. That's why we put on this little show to lure you out here. Then the story about Star Cave and Jirachi is... A complete fabrication. You see, we were pretty excited when we laid our hands on that ancient map. Wishes come true here, so we heard... We could get rich, so we came here to find out. But there's nothing here. It's a dead end. We were so disappointed. It's just a fake. The map, that is. Still angry, we came to Treasure Town, and there you were. Too bad. Your money? We're taking it. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Hopefully I have the survi reviver seats to deal with this guy. The 
They're gonna hit me hard, probably. Dang it. I'm being battered. I took no damage from him. I am a tank! And I have Oran Berries to keep me afloat. Your attack grows just enough to allow you to deal one damage to me. I'm Bidoof, and I'm gonna win! Damn it! Why I have to be confused? Growl or the attacks. I'll, I'd do that if, like, I could actually aim. Since I'm going crazy. Luckily, okay, now all the stuff is done. So I think that I will growl you. Oh, that Ah, but it protected. Darn it. And I missed, because the game is mean. He's gonna swagger me again, I just know it. I'm gonna let him faint me again. And then I'll immediately defense curl, because I think that's what that was. They got rid of my stat ups. Defense curl. And defense curl, that way I didn't ra waste a... Ormberry. Let's see. I keep, I keep forgetting that. And he just used the mist again. How dare you. Mist is broken. My poor growl. Yeah, I forgot that I didn't need to aim with Growl. If I get downed, I'll have another Reviver Seed. Uh, go ahead, that'll get rid of the confusion too. And a Defense Curl. Twice. Do I have any other orange berries? I have one more. I should probably focus on you then. Because you have that. Dang it. Why do you have grass whistle when this is a 3v1? It makes sense for your character, but still. And of course I get poisoned. I'd like to wake up, please. I guess I'll go ahead and growl since I'll be dying here. Okay, I have to get rid of you. Please die. No more. No more. Get out of here. I'm Bidoof. I have a ton of Reviver Seeds. It's too tough. But I won, game. Huh. <sighs> Even though you're weak, you're going to resist and make us ask? Hurry up and give us your money. No. That money is very important to me. Who do you think you are? Ah, this one's really stubborn. Hey, you. We'll take it by force if we have to. Yeah. Wait! Oh, is it Jirachi for real? Huh? What? One. Oh no, it, it's probably Wigglytuff or somebody. Don't shirk work. Two. Run away and pay. Three. Smiles go for miles. Or is it just the entire guild? It's just the entire guild. Lol, how'd they get here? Wigglytuff's guild is here. Uh oh. Uh, everyone. You! Don't you dare pick on our apprentice! Yeah! You better be ready! Huh, what do we do? Going up against the famous Wigglytuff's guild? 
Wait, don't run away! Don't believe the worldwide reputation in rumors! Jirachi's not in this cave, never has been! You're just scared of Wigglytuff's reputation of being really strong! Let's go, you guys! We'll take them on, too! Yeah! Let's go, everyone! You- <laughs> Interesting! Close in on him! This is actually really cool. Oh, Jesus Christ! Just murdered that guy! I didn't even have to do anything. I just murdered them all! <laughs> the ultimate no you. St strong! Yeah. Ah! Maybe you should stop your wrongdoing, hey, hey! Are you all right, Bidoof? Thanks, everyone. It was because you all came to help that I'm all right. But why, what are you all doing here? Chadot told us about you acting strangely. Ch Chadot did. You are acting really strange, daydreaming, and then suddenly you wanted to take the day off. So I talked to the Guildmaster and secretly followed you to see what you were up to. Is that so? I... I will say this one thing. It wasn't because I was worried about you. No, I didn't think I'd take along because I was worried at all. You're acting really strange. I thought maybe you were deserting the guild. So I had to see for myself. That's it. Don't misunderstand. <laughs> well put. Well said, truly. Shut up, when you told everyone about Bidoof, you really, really were worried about him. Hey, <laughs> hey. Be, be quiet! As for everyone coming along, at first it was going to be myself and the Guildmaster coming to your rescue, Bidoof. But in the end, everyone wanted to come along. <laughs> because... Once we heard you were acting strange, Bidoof, we couldn't ignore it. We've always been strict teachers in your training. But, of course we still care about you, Bidoof. So, Bidoof, we're just glad you're safe. Everyone, I'm sure happy. You all did this just for me. But here I've gone and caused you all trouble again. I just can't seem to do anything right. Yep, yep. What? That's not true. Nobody could take on an entire band of thieves by themselves, hey, hey. You've gotten much stronger. You're worried about failing. But that's how everyone becomes stronger. That's how the best explorers get to be that way. So failure is nothing to be embarrassed about. That is, honestly, yes, good lesson here. Even if it's not meant to be a moral, it is a good moral. It is a good thing to learn. Guildmaster, everyone, thank you. Thank you so much, truly. I'm sorry for troubling you. From now on, I won't be afraid of failure. I'll be patient and do my best. Yeah. That band of thieves were pretty second rate, weren't they? <laughs> hey, that's right. But never mind that. So this is Star Cave. They shouldn't have just got given up and gone home. Hey. <laughs> huh? But there's nothing. Nah, I completely lost my bit of voice for that for a moment. Nah. Huh? But there's nothing here, right? The cave just comes to a dead end right here. Jirachi's not here, right? Hey, Bidoof! Did you forget? We're an exploration team! Don't make fun of the Guildmaster's Guild! <laughs> hmm, probably right around here. Ooh! Ooh. You He just destroyed the wall. Wah! The, the wall collapsed. There's a huge open in there. That there's more to this cave. All right, let's go. 
I bet that the rare Pokemon Jirachi is there. We should all think about what we're going to ask for. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Everyone, wait a moment. It's too bad, but not everyone can go ahead. What? Well, why not, Guildmaster? This exploration, this is Bidoof's exploration. Why? Mine? Uh, by golly! Yep, Bidoof's. You're the one who's got this map, Bidoof. And you're the one who's adventured all the way here. That's why you should go ahead alone, Bidoof. Yeah, when you say it like that. That's the way it should be. We can only help you this far. The rest is up to you, Bidoof. Use your own strength and do your best to have a successful exploration. Guildmaster, thank you so much. Yep, yep. Bidoof, do your best. Be sure to tell us about your exploration later. Do your best. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much. Okay, then. I'm off, yep, yep. That book, that book ending, I really like it. I'll do my best exploring, yep, yep. Hey, do your best. I really wanted to go. You can do it, Bidoof. Do your best. There he goes, hey, hey. Anyway, Guildmaster, you're cool today as always. Yay! You think so? Yeah! Handing over the exploration to Bidoof was a very generous gesture, I think. Because Jirachi will grant wishes, you know. So, you could have made a wish for all the perfect apples you can eat. <laughs> oh. Of course the Guildmaster is just wonderful. His personality and presence, he has such a commanding aura. We're all proud to say that we're apprentices in the guild. <laughs> I also joined the guild because I admired you, Guildmaster. Everyone, our wonderful Guildmaster's best pupil is me. And don't you forget it. All right, I'm going in. Uh, hey! Everyone, stop the Guildmaster! <laughs> That's hilarious. Guildmaster, you can't do that! Oh my gosh, the Guildmaster has started to struggle! Oh, he's so strong! Ah! Everyone, we have to stop him no matter what! Anyway, the Guildmaster, he's so cool and mischievous. Yay! He wanted all those, all those perfect apples. He wanted them all! Oh no. I don't think I have any reviver seeds left. And I think I'm out of. Well. I just need. <laughs> mission. Survive. And I. Even though Snover wasn't super helpful, he at least. helped a little bit. Okay. Oh, hell. Well, first things first, dip. And then growl. Die. Okay, good. The growl did a lot more than I expected. And now I'm gonna get a bunch of uh, experience. I need to get used to doing defense curl twice at the beginning of levels. I have max elixirs, so I shouldn't be too stingy here. But this is interesting. I've never done a solo dungeon before. Ew. I'm gonna growl at you. Because, like, back in uh, Rescue Team, I always took at least two partners with me. Or no, at least one partner with me. I am a fool. Yeah, I should probably uh, smack you. I always took my trusty Trico Shane with me. You bastard, get growled at. Why use water spurt, you... How dare you? How can I miss? My basic attack has his chance to miss? How dare? Oh boy, an apple and a totter seed. 
But I do like that. That was a super cool moment. This special episode is already super good. I really love it. I really, really love it. Oh, hey, another Max Elixir. We're gonna go ahead and swap out that plain seed. Gonna go ahead and uh, defense curl a third time. I don't know if it'll actually work. I don't know stats. I'm not a strategist. I'm gonna be extra careful. I'm gonna growl twice so that you can do like nothing to me. Now I can just bash you to death at my leisure. I probably heal faster than you can really do damage to me. Oh no. Damn it. Now I'm gonna be here forever. You know, when I first got a Violent Seed, I thought it would make my Chimchar attack like those Hyper Sprinkles in Metopia. I never played Metopia. But yeah, it does kind of sound like something that would, like, be more than just... Aha, you get, a uh, maximum. I'll go ahead and take that, because I can. Never played Metopia, though. I guess I'll smack you. Ah, you do no damage to me. Like, high damage can't use moves, though. Yeah, that'd actually be very interesting. Level up for the boy! Ah, oh, shucks! I leveled up! I should have been throwing rocks! I have rocks to throw! I am a fool! I have gravel rocks! Why I no use them? Oh Jesus fucking Christ! I have another orange berry, I'm sure. Or at least I thought I was sure. I have one orange berry. I have no... I need to be extra careful. I'm just going to beeline it back to the exit. Need to get out of here. Oh, no. I just need to get, kill you and move on. I'll growl you at least once. Oh, you sneaky dicky little bitch. But it just boosts attack and special attack to max. Max, yeah. Although it is, a, it makes it a nice seed, but I feel like it should be called, like, the max seed or something and not violent seed, because violent seed does make it sound more interesting than just a simple stat boost. Then again, it's a max stat boost, so it's not technically simple, but still. You bitch. I'm going to growl at you, and then I think I'll just throw rocks. Damn it. Damn it. Why is it keep missing? Game. Stop dodging my fucking rocks. You bastard. At least it doesn't seem to want to do that twice in a row. I'm gonna sit in this corner and heal up. I have the apples to spare for it. A Pekka scarf? Interesting. It looks like a berry. I think I have other... Nope, what, what? Oh, somebody else grabbed it, but that's an orange berry. I definitely want that. Swap. I thought it was like, that looks like a berry. Why is it called a scarf? It's because I walked on top of it about the same time as somebody else was doing some other things in the dungeon. I 
guess it doesn't matter too much about... Hmm, do I care about it? I've... Is there anything I care about, like, throwing away to get it? Well, let's see. I am close to needing to eat an apple, so let's eat an apple. Now we've basically explored the entire dungeon. So let's uh, move on! To the next floor! Do our defense curls. So that we don't get absolutely nuked if we run into a Psyduck. This is all tunnels, ain't it? Get rocked. Get rocked. Now I'll tackle you to death. Honestly, seeing uh, the Apollo trying to restrain my Chimchar after he ate a violent seems, seems like a funny comic idea to me. I say go for it. Because that does seem like a very cool idea. Because imagine if it acted like Swagger, but in like... Ba ba ba. In like seed form. So you'd like eat the seed, it maxes out your damage and stuff, but then you like have the chance to accidentally hit your allies as well as your foes. So there's like some kind of give and take to it all. I do like the music again. The music. We need to kill him. He must die for his sins. God damn it. You always manage to get a water gun off when you do so much damage. You bastard. And I'm just gonna throw rocks again at you. That does more because you're a rock type. Get rocked, idiot. But I definitely need to draw more of this. Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell is that? Oh, I ran out of rocks. I'm not gonna risk a berry against that water spouting jerk. Oh, and I can do my little weighty heel strat, strat right here. Bye bye, Brazong, you can't kill me. Just like pure rage behind those eyes whilst everyone tries to restrain him from harming anyone else. Would make the item more interesting, at least from a lore perspective. I've come pretty far. Golly, this here looks like another dead end. Yep, yep. Is this here really? Really the deepest point in the cave? Phew. So sleepy. Ugh. Where's that voice? Wait, wait a minute. Is that voice? Who is it? Who's there? Uh, you mean me? I'm Badoof. Who are you? Me? Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm Jirachi. Uh, Jirachi! You're the Jirachi, aren't you? Mm-hmm, that's right. Speaking of... Who are you? I'm Badoof. Didn't I already say that? I mean, swear I could get a violent status. It makes sense. A violent seed would make the Pokemon violent. It just, it's in the name. You'd think it would do that. Uh, um, what? I heard that you, uh, that you can grant wishes, Drachi. Is that really true? Yep, it's true. <sighs> but right now I'm pretty sleepy, so I can't really help you. Sorry. And I usually toss and turn in my sleep. So if you're nearby, I will probably attack you. Sorry if I do. Oh, great. Don't tell me there's another boss fight when I have no reviver seeds. What? <sighs> I'm so sleepy. Hopefully he's stuck. Yep, 
Yeah, I basically gotta blast him. Oh, you bastard. I don't think I can heal that. Please don't use another Swift. Damn it. And I'm dead. Because it used up all my goddamn shit at the first boss fight, and they gave me no other reviver seeds. It's too tough. I'll have to try again. Damn it. At least they put a checkpoint here, so... Jirachi attacks in his sleep, however... Now you said he tosses and turns. But anyway, I found him. I should go find Jirachi again. I wish this allowed me to act of, like, uh... Do that, like, go and grab more Reviver Seeds. Because now I'm going to have to go through probably a ton of dungeon unless it's just the super deaths. Nope. God damn it, game. That's a bit mean of design. Hey, you know that boss fight that took away all your Reviver Seeds? Fuck you, another! And you have no allies. That's kind of mean, game. Just gotta say. Then again, I could have used a totter seed, but I wasn't expecting a boss fight. When I probably should have. And why do you use poison gas, you bitch? So just ever so slightly cruel, game. Especially because now we have to go through, like, the main part of the dungeon again. The main half. Why is there even a guy that poisons you in this dungeon? Kind of disappointed, game. It's very annoying. Because now I have less items. And then again, I guess that's kind of the point. They sent you back so that you can hopefully gather more items. Or, you know, you could have just not had the boss be a murderer. Could have done that, game. At least that proves that you can grab items in a... ba 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 Kekleon shop tile without... Or, like, area, but not tile. Just gotta use my diddly dees. But also especially because this is a special episode. So I just felt they could be a little bit more kind with it. You fool, I have a reset tile on my side. Like how many items? I think it took like a bunch of my items from that too. Which is also doubly cruel, because it super punishes you for not expecting a boss fight at the end. That wasn't advertised. How dare you. How dare you, game. You're being mean to Badoof. You're no different than Snover. Especially because, like, they, there was no Reviver Seeds in this segment of the dungeon. Be very nice if you could give me Reviver Seeds, game. Because it honestly felt like there were only Reviver Seeds before the bandit fight. And then after the bandit fight, there's nothing. Feels oh so cruel. And again, it, it does also feel like it took away some of my items. Oh, hey, rollout. Neat. Not sure how good it is in this game. Up oh, wrong button. But it might be something. I just need to be careful not to use rollout too crazily. Unless it's like something that has a lot of health. Yeah, there's like no items. We sent you back so that you can get a bunch of items. You know, like those items we took away from you. It would also be kind of funny if Rollout just, like, didn't affect Jirachi for some reason. Like, Rollout is a certain type 
and Jirachi has, like, levitate or something, and the code is like, ah, that doesn't work on him. It's me rolling into him. Ah, you son of a bitch. You're gonna poison me, aren't you? I just used Yawn. And now we are a slop. The Grovile episode is rough. Oh boy. Or are we down in the depths, like, five levels before Jirachi? Because I don't believe Brazong appeared until after the bandit fight. It would also have been nice if I could have, like... Done, was able to do more setup before the Jirachi fight. Like, I start further away so I can apply defense curls and stuff. But yeah, I have, like, no items that are gonna help me in a fight against Jirachi. Because there are two boss fights in this singular dungeon run with no real diddly D. Stamina band. What does that do? Suppresses hunger. So you can walk around more. So I guess that's kind of like... I guess means we don't need that apple. We do have totter seeds, so I suppose that I can... Like, that's also one thing I feel like for, like, lore flavor, Jirachi should have been permanently confused. Anyway. Like, he shouldn't be able to actively choose to go after me since he's meant to be sleeping and therefore not in control of himself. But instead, it feels like Jirachi's like, I'm gonna tell this guy that I uh, attack people in my sleep so that I can just fuck him up, which feels a bit mean. But at least I have a totter seed to make the lore real. So I'll throw the totter seed, and also I could have sworn that my bag was, f like, much smaller. So either I'm being a fool, or the game is making me go mad. Let's do that twice. I forget if I have any stakes to throw at you. <laughs> also, knowing my luck, what'll probably happen, also I probably should have gone this way to get to the exit. I am but a fool. But, back to my thought. Knowing my luck, Jirachi will just be able to catch the totter seed and be like, you fool. So yeah, maybe we are just the five levels down below. It's just because the only place I saw a Kangaskhan statue was the floor batch. Because uh, this is made up of three different floor batches. The initial one... I don't know, I'm losing my mind. Uh, nope, here we go. So I was kind of right. It's just that we don't have the big goal, big goal. I need to do these. And I don't have any rocks to throw at you. <coughs> Darn you, Moan Blast! Okay, don't do that. Please die. I said please die. Jesus Christ, do I have any orange berries? I think I have like one. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and heal in the corner. Activate that. Please don't do any moon blasts. I just wanna heal in here. Away from your moon blasts. I don't know why... I moved out of the way of the diddly D. Don't do moon blast, please. Also, why am I only lo running in to Lunatones? The ones that are hard to kill. Not even the Bronzongs are hard to kill. But then the Lunatones come in and be like, we are here to waste your power points. It's like they're all sponsored by the Max Elixir Company. Are you kidding me? There's 
Now there is two of them! That water sport to do major damage to that Lunatone. It's only lore accurate. Would you please fucking stop? I need to uh, accrue items to fight Jirachi. Why are you just using moves, you jerk? God! You're a random Pokemon, not a boss. Motherfucker. I'm genuinely getting annoyed at this. Quit throwing Lunatones at me! That should also do damage to the, the, the duck. Thank you very much. Now I have to use the other orange berry because it keeps throwing Lunatones at me! I'm angry! I'm getting very annoyed at this. Why is it just Lunatones? I've lost all my Orin Berries. Jesus Christ, I hate you. I'm wasting my power points. I'm wasting my Orin Berries. I have no Reviver Seeds. Seriously, why are there no Reviver Seeds down here? There's a boss fight coming up. It's super mean. What's with the Lunatones? I'm so annoyed by you. You take so little damage. And it was all for a fucking dead end. Of course, I went the wrong way. I need to heal up because frickin' Lunatones. Let's see. It's so aggravating. I'm just trying to get, make my way through, and it's just like, Lunatone! 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 God! <laughs> it makes me feel better. I hate a ghost type due to Grovile's episode. Well, hopefully we'll find, I don't know, some kind of band that's like, if you hold this in your bag, you'll be able to hit ghost types. But it probably won't be anything usable by Grovile. They were in walls, couldn't do anything. Eesh. The only way to get ghosts out of the walls is to either, like, have a move that breaks a wall, have something that goes over wall, or move into a room. You're very annoying, game. You're very, very, you're so fun. Can I just get this over with, please? I'd like to play the game. Will you please fuck off and die? Dude, how much health do you have? I hit you. Fuck off. Why did they not give me any reviver seeds? That would have been nice for them to give me. Some goddamn reviver seeds. Er, uh, something stirring. I want to leave! You're not letting me! That is annoying. Ah, something stirring. You need to leave the dungeon. I am trying to, you jerk. Yeah, it's just another totter seed. It'll just cause confusion. I don't care. I leave. But yeah, no. Screw that floor in particular. Why the hell were there so many Lunatones? <laughs> it's just absurd, man. Let's see. What's this? Rainy Orb. I don't really care. Is there anything that I care to throw out for it, just so I can carry it over to the other ability? I guess I'll also set the Iron Thorns into place. I don't see that there is anything I really care to get rid of for an Orb. Of course you're here. You're an asshole. You haunt me. You're a dear, dear dick. I don't know exactly which part of you is your dick, but you can fuck off. What is with, like... What was with the Lunatones on, like, the first floor there that they were doing, like, super massive damage all over the place with their stuff? But that guy, oh, he does one damage. Did I forget to do my curls? That floor? 
Or what? I'm losing my mind. Was that just a particularly weak Luna tone? I don't know. I'm losing my mind here. And I can't even blitz through because I need to gather up more items on the offhand chance. Again, way to go, game. No revive seeds. It'd be nice if there was some reviver seeds down here that I could gather for the upcoming boss battle. That would be very nice. Again, there are only reviver seeds. It's like the first item that I found or so was like a reviver seed in this dungeon. Because there's like the first few floors, and then there's the other floors leading up to the the bandit fight. And then there's these floors, leading up to Jirachi. The only floors that had reviver seats was the ba ba ba. Is it Oran or Orin? Oran, good. I swear, game, if that turned out to have been an Orin berry, the one that like damages you if you eat it, oh, I would have been a little bit miffed there, sir. I would have been potentially quite aggravated with you, because then you're just kicking me while I'm down. Oh, motherfucker, yeah, it is a reviver saved. Even more angry would I have been if that had turned out to be like a reviser seed. If it was a reviver seed. Murder. <laughs> Murder. You got rollout and a totter seed. I think that's enough. Still, I'm paranoid. I'm going to get rid of my iron thorns, because I don't think I need them. And with that one reviver seed and stuff, yeah, I'm going to blitz through enough to give the game a chance to get rid of my one single Orinberry. Alright, since you want to fight, and you're far away, I'll growl at you. I'll growl at you twice. Yeah, let's do it three times. Fuck it. You're very rude, game. You only need to be touched once, and then you're like, no. I would like to heal before I go fight Jirachi, game. Would you kindly fuck off? Oh, we got an extra level before we went in anyway. Alright, now, heal up, and pray to God. It will be nice, like, oh, he killed you. Hey, Jirachi, I've come back, you bip. Uh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll beat the sleep out of you. I'm Jirachi. Who are you? I'm Bidoof. That's what I've been telling you since the beginning. And I'm still so sleepy. I tend to act strangely when I sleep and cause trouble all around me, so I apologize again. Uh, I thought this uh, before, yep, yep. He isn't really asleep, is he? Ready? Again, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't... If he didn't beeline straight towards me, I'd buy that he was sleeping. No, this motherfucker is alive. Cause confusion. Get eat. I'll go ahead and... And roll out. Damn it. Roll out. Damn it. Oh, yes. The roll out will totally help me. I have been screwed. Damn it! <laughs> that is bullshit, man! <laughs> that is so bullshit! Oh, that's so mean. At least I have a reviver seed. But man! Why does it just keep missing? What is the point of this move? That's so stupid, man. I'm gonna faint again because the game is like, hey, roll out. Misses all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Nothing I can really do. 
Because it didn't feel like there would be a point to lowering him even more. I did, like, multiple growls. If I did any more, it felt like there would be nothing done. That's so stupid, though. Why does rollout exist? What the fuck is the point of rollout here, game? Does it have, like, a 1% chance to hit? Doesn't feel like a multiple hit chance move if it doesn't ever hit. It's so incredibly dumb. I hate it. Ah, oh, well, you see, we need to balance multiple hit moves. No, you don't. You can just make them good. How about that? Make it fun. Well, yeah, that's ungodly stupid. Just ungodly stupid that I used it and not hit once. So what's the point? Why ever use it? At least I got a totter seed because the game was mean like, oh, you can't stall out bosses by using multiple totter seeds. It's an AI. The fuck you care, game. Well, yeah, that's just a very mean game. Ungodly mean. Game, I will kindly tell you to fuck up. We're gonna make you miss against this first enemy on the floor to tell you how much we hate you. And again, I only got like one reviver seed that entire time. And I'm not gonna get one this time, I bet. Because the game is mean. I keep forgetting. Need to do my curls at the beginning, but it spawned me next to an enemy, so I forgot. At least there's an Orenberry. Not much help considering that he does like half of my like health in a single blast. Yeah, that's why I don't like moves with like low accuracy. Yeah, come to me around the corner so that you don't, like, use your ranged move and annihilate me. It's like, that's why I don't like moves that are like, ooh, strategies. It's like, what strategy? That if it works, it go good, and if it don't work, well, you were better off using the sure hit moves anyway? Congratulations, game. I'm, I was gonna be a complacent gamer anyway. But I figured, oh, I'll go be nice. I'll try some strategy. And then the game punished me for trying to do strategy. Like, maybe it's meant to be part of the in-universe message, where it's like, Oh, hey, Bidoof is meant to learn that failure isn't bad. You just need to keep going through it. Well, hey, I'm going through it, and I'd like it to stop. Because, again, it just doesn't feel that good, mostly due to the fact that... It just doesn't feel good. And again, if it gave, like, again, if it weren't for the fact that, wrong thing, like, the one thing is the fact that there were so many Reviver Seeds in the first level of floors before we got to that little conversation with Snover, right before the floors that then led up to the bandit fight. And since then, I have found one Reviver Seed uh, across three runs now. So it just, it, it feels doubly bad to go through all this. It would just be kind of nice game if you didn't screw me. Not to mention also, guys that inflict poison on you in the early floors. So it's just like, what am I supposed to do? I can hardly even build up an item resource. Because I'm then forced to leave the floor. If only you had an all-hit orb. I don't I don't even really know all that much about the orbs in this game. I never used them. Oh, hey, it's Lunatone. Here to make me... Oh, I forgot to put on my uh, defense curls. My bad. You're going to make me use my Orenberry, aren't you? Why are the Lunatones here? They intentionally did this knowing that you're gonna be playing as Bidoof. It's 
very mean game. Yeah, it just, just doesn't feel good. Because it almost feels like it's balanced around expecting you to have Reviver Seeds. But they made sure to eliminate your Reviver Seeds before you even get there because of the bandit fight and then refusing to spawn more of them. I just, I don't get it. And now I'm out of my tackle attack. At least there seems to be a decent enough flow of uh, maximum up and ups unless those all faded away too. I think I have like, let's see. I have two of them. So I, <laughs> I hate you game. You're ruining the fun here because you made Jirachi an asshole. Quit throwing enemies at me, please. I want to play the game. Oh, hey, look, it's taking away my ability to play the game because it's an asshole. I'm just ever so slightly annoyed by it. It also didn't feel like Growling did all that much against Jirachi. So really, the play seems to be get close to Jirachi. Well, first, I guess, throw, get him totter seed confused, then slam away at him. And then maybe... Like, I don't even know, like, how, like, the seed mechanic works in this game, because it obviously didn't like me trying to throw a totter seed at him immediately following him coming out of confusion. Oh, fuck off, game. Will you please stop? Why are you... Wow, game. Wow. Wow. Why? Why? Seriously. Why do you hate fun? This is just here to torture me. Why? This is meant to be the fun, fun times. Why are you hurting me? Jesus Christ, game. That's mean. But Jirachi is adorable. I'm sure that he is, but he's still a jerk. He's pretending to be asleep to hurt me. I have to inflict what he... Again, I think it would be a bit better if he was actually sleeping and therefore had permanent confusion on him. Because then at least it would be slightly justified. Now it just feels mean. Again, there's a lot of floors to get through. I am alone. I have no reviver seeds because they just don't spawn. They just don't exist down here. The design of the dungeon and the story just feels ever so slightly cruel. Again, I understand that it's probably meant to align with Bidoof's experience of like, oh, failure isn't bad, you can just try again thing. But when you stack a decent amount of Reviva Seeds at the start of the dungeon, and then from the point that you restart if you fail Jirachi, there are hardly any Reviva Seed drops, it just feels kind of cheap. Kinda. At least I have Gravel Rock, so that'll help me a little bit. Just blaze through it. I wish I could, but I have to look for items. There might be a Reviva Seed in here. Might! So I can't even do that. Again, I think that's part of the, my annoyance here. Is it feels like they expect you to have Reviver Seeds. When they literally put a fight before your respawn point that took away all the Reviver Seeds. Are you going to be one to spite me? Oh, hey. It's the one Reviver Seed that's going to spawn on this run. I know I'm being pessimistic, but the game has instilled that in me. The game did it, not me. Because it's mostly due to the fact that I have to use my tackle, so I need to find more maximum power pups. Oh yeah, I forgot this is room wide, so I can just do that. Please don't poison me. I know I'm right next to the, the diddly D. I just hate that, and I want to be able to look for more items.
Because I feel like if I can get two Reviver Seeds, I'll be set. And I had more than two Reviver Seeds. But then the game threw the boss fight at me, and I thought that was cool. And then the game decided to be mean. Yeah, game, I already know. It was like, oh, you can do that. I already know what setting does. Another Totter Seed. <laughs> I think they, they specifically had a way for you to kill Jirachi. And then, like, you have to do it this way. That's the only way to kill Jirachi. Even Bidoof is cringing at the design of this dungeon. Because, yeah, I, again, I think it's mostly the fact that it seems like certain, like, items stop spawning the deeper we get in. Because it felt like there were a ton of maximum power... That's not what I want, game. You fool. I was, yeah, they know I clicked B, but you know. Blah. All right. Defense curl. Defense curl. Grab this Orin Berry. Replace it with the iron. Heal in the corner. And then we go. And also, it would be one thing if they didn't take away the money and items that you've earned to a little bit. Because it does feel like if you faint, you do lose some items, which is ever so slightly mean game with how you've designed this. And again, guy that uses poison when you need to forage for items for the boss fight. Why? And how, hey, look, a Lunatone here to screw my day, because fuck me, I guess. I hate the Lunatones. You know, that's also another thing. They put rock types in here. When you only have Bidoof. They know what they are doing. They are here to hurt me. It'd be one thing if this was an actual in-universe thing, but this is game design. They designed it this way. This is intentional. I keep forgetting that I can defense curl at the beginning. I wish that it would... I wish that self buffs... Why are you using your attack so much, you jerk? Oh, hey, look. It's the I'm gonna waste your items thing. My favorite. I am full of pain. I just want to look for a second possible reviver seed that might exist. It could exist. It has to. That's all I want is good items. Although I guess I could try and blitz through. I have one reviver seed. But I don't know, the game is mean. Let me just look, it spawned me with a Golduck. Or a Psyduck. Golduck is its evolution. Which is a little bit weird because it looks far less gold when it evolves. Into Golduck. Huh. Weird. More gravel rock. But why though? And again, it just spawned me in a room with a Lunatone and you can't escape the AI. It's so bothersome. Once again, the game showing me how much it loves me. Quit that! Jesus Christ! And it's a bad weather floor. Please don't have this be... I just know. I just know that if I go through there that it's gonna turn out to be the boss floor. I forget what floor it is. It's probably floor five, but knowing my luck... Oh, now you've become clear, don't you? I don't trust this game at this point. It's hurting me. Or at least I don't trust this dungeon. Quit throwing Lunatones at me! Oh, I'm full of agony. Quit it, please. Ah. Uh.
The game just keeps throwing pain at me. Why do you do this game? A for poor Bidoof. Why, though? I'm already annoyed by hypnosis, but the fact that I don't even have an ally to take the pressure off when I'm hypnosis At least, at least the only one that can do that is Bronzong, and he's a poor boy. Nobody loves him. All right, fast forward through. He's fake sleeping, we know it. I'm gonna throw a totter seed at him. All right, totter seed. Throw! Defense. Defense. I'm gonna start throwing rocks. Alright. Growl. Throw rock. Damn it. Growl. Throw rock. Throw rock. Okay, there. Rocks save the day. Not moves, not roll out. The power was rock. <laughs> Which spawned far more often than reviver seeds. Ugh. Pain. Then again, with the amount of times they spawned totter seeds, I think the game was telling me, this is how you win. <laughs> Wah! W what's going on? Wah! And that woke him up. Ha! <sighs> All right, I'm fully awake. So so awake. Ah. My name is Jirachi. Um, who are you? I'm Bidoof. Golly, how many times do I need to tell him? Your name is Bidoof. So Bidoof, you better listen well. I grant wishes for those who manage to wake me up. All of a sudden, I'm not ready for this yet. <clears throat> All right, I'll listen. What is your wish, Bidoof? My my wish? My wish is, um, um... Huh. <laughs> to be the best explorer. Is that truly what you want? Yes, it is. <laughs> Drachi just needs a Chesto Berry. If that's... I swear, I swear, if they put that in as, like, an optional way to win the boss fight, you get a Chesto Berry, you throw it at him, he eats it, he wakes up, I would take back all of my complaints because that would be genius. If they put that in as, like, a little clever thing, I would take back all of my complaints of what just happened and praise the hell out of it. Well, yeah, we want to be the best explorer. That's right. My dream, it was to become the best explorer ever. Yep, yep. <laughs> Laughs and non-sleeper skill. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? What's your wish, Bidoof? Uh, something wrong? You don't have a wish? M my dream is to become the best explorer ever. Yep, yep. The best explorer? Got it. That's pretty easy. Okay, here we go. Wah! Wait a moment, please. Huh? What is it? Golly, well, my dream is to become the best explorer ever. That's true. At first, I thought I'd come down here and ask you for it. that. Yep, yep. B but I'm giving up on that plan. Truly? Why? Because, because I've come to see that it's not something you can wish for, by golly. You've got to work hard. Once you've really done your best... Put in the effort, then you can feel like a worthy explorer. You gotta have lots of experiences, lots of feelings and memories. Those are the ways you learn and grow and get better little by little. Yep, yep. Yes, sir, I got a lot clearer on all this stuff during this adventure. So my wish to be the best explorer ever. Jirachi, I'm not asking you for that anymore. I see. Well spoken. So you don't have any wishes? What you've just said, it shows something about you. Not everyone can resist being greedy. You're a good Pokemon, Bidoof. I've come to like you. So if you don't have a wish right now, 
Oh, uh, wait, uh, just a moment, please. Yep, yep. What is it? You just said a nice thing about me not being greedy, Jirachi. So maybe I shouldn't ask. It's all right. Go ahead. If if you'll still grant me a wish, I wish, I wish, I wish for a buddy who I could teach stuff to. A buddy? You're training at the guild, aren't you, Badoo? So you want a buddy, Badoo? Someone you can show around and give a helping hand to? That's right. During this adventure, I... Golly, thanks to the guild master and everyone in the guild caring about me, I feel so incredibly happy. Yep. But I don't want to get used to it and start acting spoiled or anything. That's why, that's the reason I'd like a pal or two. If I had a buddy, a pal I could share what I learned with, I'd get better and better as I push forward. Know what I mean? Yes, <laughs> got it. Your wish, Badoof, I will make it come true. Really? Yep. Maybe won't be soon, but sooner or later, you'll see some new faces at the guild. You should look forward to it. Thank you, Jirachi. Thank you so much. That's sweet. In a roundabout way, Badoof is the reason we exist here. And so... <laughs> I suddenly grew a magnificent voice. <laughs> and so... My exploration of Star Cave came to an end. Yep, yep. And now... Huh? Neon? Your eyes look a bit puffy, Neon. What's wrong? Couldn't sleep? Huh? And my eyes, too? I see. We're pretty busy every day of assignments, aren't we? <laughs> We've just entered the guild, and there's still so much we don't know, but... Let's keep at it. Really? There really is a new apprentice. And not only that, there are two of them. Jirachi, thank you so much. Yep, yep. As your older buddy, Neon and Silas, I won't let you down. I'm going to work hard at my guild training each and every day. That's sweet. That's a sweet special episode. I still think that, like, the spawn pool is a bit restrictive for what it is. I feel like a few more Reviver Seeds could be thrown in there. But overall, I like that. That was really good. Wait, did Jirachi summon us? Now I'm just imagining my Chimchar falling from the sky into the water. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Jirachi kind of nudged things the way they went. That would be an interesting bit, because he did say that it might not be so uh, may not be now, it may not be soon, but someday. So it's possible Jirachi nudged a few things so that, like, we, the player character, tur fell into the water, turned into a Pokemon, nudged things so Shane went to the beach to find us. But I kind of like that, that Bidoof is kind of technically the reason we might have met the, our partner Pokemon. Like in this case, Bidoof is the reason that Neon the Zoroa met Silas the Rialu. And that's kind of sweet. It's kind of cute. That's very nice. It's very nice. Maybe that's why we got split with Grovile. Ah, be careful, you're dipping into spoiler territory. Granted, I already knew that, but just gotta be careful. Not everybody would know that in this blind playthrough. Although that would also be funny if they, if Jirachi just did summon a giant storm that separated us. He's the reason we have amnesia. Then again, I haven't played any of the post game, so maybe more stuff will be revealed in the post game. Oh, my RC says, sorry. Nah, it's fine. Just a light poke poke. I was like, eh, just be careful. You're getting too complacent. Gotta keep you on your toes. But yeah, that was a nice special episode. I do think that, again, a little stingy with Reviver Seeds in the latter half. But still. Pokey and items obtained in the special episodes will be stored in D Duskull Bank and Kangaskhan Storage, respectively. Not a lot, but still. Kind of nice. I think it told me that twice. 
Ah, that was nice. It took us two hours for that special episode. But let us go and continue the main story. Bop. Bop, bop, bop. And see, will we just go on a normal adventure, or will we uh, go on the expedition? Or as, as will probably happen, we'll be left behind. And then maybe we'll be like, wait a minute, Skunk Tank's gang is gonna do something bad at the expedition. We have to go help them. Something, anything. <laughs> now then, I shall announce the expedition members at this time. Guildmaster, the memo, please. Chattel accepted the memo bearing the names of the expedition members from Wigglytuff. <clears throat> the chosen members are written on this memo. Memo? Memo. He also has wing hands. They had to make a special sprite specifically for him to hold up the memo. Step forward if your name is called. Oh, it's finally happening. My heart's a pounding, by golly. Without further ado, I will announce those who've been chosen. Our first member, Loudred. Yes, I did it. But if you really think about it, it's only natural that I would get picked. And remember, I almost forgot my tea. Remember, everybody, if you do a lot of talking, remember to drink some tea. Drink your stay hydrated. Woohoo! Says you, big talker, yep, yep. Is he saying that he wasn't even nervous? Next up is Cawfish. Hey, 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 got it. I got picked. Hey, hey. Oh, that's a relief. Next is, oh, what's this? Well, that's a surprise. Our next member is Vidoo. Really? Really and truly? Golly, me? I'm going on an expedition. Hmm, is anything the matter, Vidoo? Come and step forward. Uh, I'm sure want to step up, I truly do. I'm feeling a mite overwhelmed here. My legs aren't moving. So be it, we'll ignore it and move on. Next we have Sunflora and Trimaco. Oh, us too? Eek, oh my gosh! Um, yes, and there we have the expedition party members. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Looks like those losers are out. <laughs> Serves them right. Whoa, they had it coming. So that's it for the expedition members. Uh, what's this? There's something scribbled in the margins of this memo. The Guildmaster's Ram writing is such a messy scroll. This is so hard to decipher. If, if I said that out loud, the consequences would be pretty. But to keep a stiff upper beak and swallow those words. Um, it appears that there are more expedition members. The others are Diglett, Dugtrio, and Krogunk. Oh, and Silas and Neon. Everybody gets to go. <laughs> He even has a thing for holding the paper. Yeah, that's a cute little detail. Oh, yeah. He has the one for showing it up and for reading it. I like that. I like the extra effort they had to go to for that. That is all. Wait a second. What? 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 Guildmaster, this list seems to include every member of the guild. Yep, that's right. Well, then, it seems that the whole selection process was meaningless. Moreover, if we were to all go, we'd be leaving the guild empty. Are you sure it'd be all right to leave with no one to look after the guild? It'll be fine. We'll lock up properly. Guild master, I also have some misgivings. Do you think perhaps we may have too many members for an expedition? Mm, when a friend asks something like that, I have to wonder why. I mean, first of all, why does everyone have to go? What's the point in having everyone participate? Huh? Of course there's a point. That is, if everyone went, it would be more fun. What? We'll be noisy and excited and having fun. I started thinking about it and it made me so excited I couldn't sleep. What? So that's how it is, everyone. We're all going on the expedition and it will be fun, fun, fun. Let's all do our best. Hooray! Uh, well, that's settled. Fine, let me explain the schedule. Right after this, I will hold a briefing on the expedition. 
As such, the chosen members, that is everyone, each of you shall be prepared to embark, uh, should get prepared to embark on the expedition. Let me remind you that this is a guild-exclusive expedition. You may not bring non-guild members for your teams. As such, you won't be, assemble, be able to assemble... My, I, my, I read the assemble uh, before in the first line because I'm a fool. As such, you won't be able to add members at Tomiko Assembly. They simply aren't allowed to join the expedition. Keep that in mind while you are making preparations. When you are prepared for the upcoming journey, you should return here. Then inform me of your readiness. That is all. Dismissed. I like this look. I like that all the guild members like get together. It's like, oh, isn't this cool? I could scream. I'm so happy. Everyone's going on the expedition. Our guild master has done it again. I'm so shocked. I'm tingling. I didn't think we'd get picked. So that came as a total shock. I'm glad we never gave up. Hey, hey. By golly. I'm mighty happy that we're even letting me go on this here expedition. Oh, but not just me. Why everyone gets to go. It's like I'm dreaming. It's making me feel mighty emotional. <laughs> it's no dream. This is really happening. Anyway, since we are all going, it means that we're all going to be put to the test as well. That's why I would like to propose that all of us apprentices work as one. And let's make this expedition a success. Yippee! This is the spirit! Yeah! That's the spirit! Let's do our best! Let's band together and do it! That's nice. I like that. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Oh, we were awarded with a bigger treasure bag! You can now carry more items before you go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I now hold an even bigger bag. And I don't have any items from the treasure boxes, so that's not... You know. <laughs> Everyone is here! Exactly! Everyone in the guild is going out on an expedition? Oh, that's so cool! An expedition! I envy you! Going out on the whole gang is really what's fun. What's fun? I, I can't even read. I am I am blind. I am Daredevil now. But that's nice. I really like that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, Neon and Silas. This is my first time on an expedition, so I'm a little nervous. But let's be sure that make this a success. Incidentally, do you know anything about the secret bazaar, Neon? I haven't seen it either, but a rumor tells me that the Secret Bazaar is a mysterious facility that appears occasionally in dungeons. You can heal your wounds and even grab buy a grab bag there, so I hear. Several kinds of shops are there. I wonder what other shops can be found there. I'd love to find out for myself. Maybe there's a chance we can find the Secret Bazaar on our expedition? Oh, I'm so excited! If you find happen to find the Secret Bazaar, Neon, be sure to tell me all about it. If I remember correctly, the Secret Bazaar has, like, three shops in there. One that heals you, one that has stuff I forget. Oh, and now we get the Treasure Town music. Doo -doo -doo. And <laughs> right as I say that, back to the beach. Uh, no messages on the beach. I wish you the best of fortunes on your expedition. I'd like to take all of this so that we can maybe buy stuff at Kecleon if we need it. I hear the whole guild's going off on an expedition now. After the last expedition, they came back with loads of treasure. We expect big things from your upcoming expedition. I've heard you're picked for the expedition. Congratulations. Oh, Neon and Silas, I hope you get lots of treasure. Thank you, Azuril. Oh, Neon and Silas, please take care on your expedition. Oh, it's my first expedition. I don't have a clue what items I should take. No time to chat. I have to get ready for the expedition. <laughs> Is this still broken down? Oh, no. Remember what? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Y visitors? Finally. But my first visitors. 
Welcome to Morrowak Dojo. This is my place. It's dedicated to training of exploration teams. The dojo went to rack and ruin than a pile of rubble, but it has now risen from the dust to its former glory. But I haven't had any visitors. There hasn't been even one. It saddened me to my very morrow. That's basically me when I post art to the various sites and don't even get a like. Profound sadness. But then, along came you two. You are my first customers. From my very morrow, I'm feeling overjoyed. I don't even want money. Keep it. Just train here. That's all I ask. There's the entrance to the training mazes. I have to tell you one thing. Training mazes aren't like ordinary dungeons. There's this icky part, you see. When you go in, you hand over everything that's in your treasure bag. To avoid losing the items in your treasure bag, put them in Kangaskhan storage before you go in. There's more. If you get KO'd, you don't lose the new money and items that you found in the maze. You get to keep them. There's no risk to you, so you can go all out while you train. So yes, make me happy. Train your team here. How about it? All right, we'll definitely give it a shot at some point, but not now. I just figured if it was active in uh, the diddly D, it should be active here. I think we talked to you. No time to chat. Have to get ready for the expedition. <laughs> Show them that you've got the power on the expedition. I'll be happy to keep the power going until we've done all the linking you need. I just wanted to see what interesting things you had to say, my boy. The expedition will be a very long journey. It'll be even harder if you don't take the right supplies. We all should get properly stocked up before we go to see Chadot. Look! Good for you! I'm glad you two got picked for the expedition, too. The expedition is no walk in the park, so don't goof up and get in the way! Got that? Hey, Spoink. Oh, Neon and Silas. It's been too much too long. It's me, Spoink. You're going on an expedition, I heard. How fabulous. Oh, please do come back with lots of treasure. Yo, congrats on making the expedition party. Come back with lots of souvenirs. Do -do -do. You're going on an expedition? Well, doesn't that sound fun? I'll be thinking of you, my dears. Have a good time. Thank you dearly, Miss Kangaskhan. You are the best. We'll get rid of that, that. Uh, we'll keep the blue gummy. Oh, no, orange gummy. So, I'll uh, keep the blue one there just so we can do a little thing potentially. For my main team, I don't think I need that many Auron Berries. I think two Max Elixirs should maybe do it. We can now carry 32 items. I'm so happy! How many apples do we have? We have a big apple, uh, two big apple. I think two big apples should carry us. And uh, one reviver seed, two reviver seed. I don't think we need that many reviver seeds. And two max elixirs should be fine. How many orange berries? One orange berry, two orange berry, three orange berry. I think two orange berries should maybe carry us. And we'll put away this apple. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I want to see, do we have any of the good rocks? Where's my... I do have 10 gravel rock. 20 gravel rock. I'll take the gravel rocks with me since they do more damage, I think. Either that or I am Mandelying myself like a fool. So we do have 48 uh, Geo, but we'll keep them for now. And yeah, that'll be all that I long to take with me, I do believe. Thank you, Miss Kangaskhan. And what do you guys have? Ah, yes, I've heard. You were chosen for the expedition. Congratulations. I so hope you do very well. 
He just wants us to come back and sell all our stuff. I don't think there is anything. I guess we could buy the Rostberry, just because it seems to be semi-rare. I'll take that Rostberry. What about you, Purple Kecleon? What doth thee have to sell? I forgot. I, I missed your unique dialogue. I am a fool. Stone Edge, and then just diddly -dees. And I'll go ahead and put the Rostberry away. I just love this game. It's super nice. Even when I get upsetty, the game is still very fun. The upsettiness washes away eventually, giving way to fun. Oh, see, we've come to bid a brief farewell. We have been chosen for the expedition. Though that was a given. We therefore must take leave of this place for a short while. However, when we return, you will see that we have grown in every way. Look forward to that day. Oh, see! Oh, see! Oh, vast sea! I think he's a sea cultist. That makes me think, what is a Pokemon's religion? I mean, I guess we could eavesdrop on these guys. Whoa! We're fellow members with you in the expedition, remember? We have to be more open and trusting of one another. Whoa! We're only stacking up. Oh, come on, don't make nasty faces at me. <laughs> The expedition will be rough. We'd all better be well stocked with food. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to grab one more Big Apple just in case. Now that we have lots more room. When a character says they appreciate me in Apollo, it just makes me smile, even if it's just a game. It just, it has a nice atmosphere to it. Even if it is a, a game, it is just a nice feeling to have characters that you like be like, good for you, and just say nice things. It's all about the atmosphere that's trying to give you. <laughs> it's like, there's a reason why a lot of people really like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and even to this day, there's ton of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfics and fan comics and just all of everything all over the place. It's because people love it. Are you really going on the expedition? Go find lots of treasure. Everyone in Wigglytuff's guild is going on out the expedition right now. Must be fun. I wish I could have come along. Then join the guild. I went out exploring with a friend once long ago. It was a lot of fun. It's a wonderful memory. Now I decide to join the expedition too, but I'm all by myself. Ouch. Where are you headed? I didn't even say anything. He asked that question and we just <laughs> ghosted him. Let's see. Orange gummy for the boy Silas. Drink it up. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon just lives in my heart rent free. It's special to me like Mario games. I like Mario games, but Mystery Dungeon? It definitely it sits in my heart as well. It's just so good. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Significantly up. Status checker. And defense rose by one. I, have, I should have a gummy myself that I would like to eat through the power of drunk. Added the blue gummy. That's right. Shake it this way, shake it that, and stir it all around and it's done. A savory fragrance and unique bitterness come together for a mature flavor. My IQ went up and attack rose. Not super lucky there, but still very nice. And since I got... <laughs> I wish I had a smoothie instead of tea for that, but tea is still good. Tea time. Fuck. Hydration. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts, Project P recently made a new discovery. This time, treasure was discovered, so we're offering a higher grade of recycled items. Yay! But yeah, I definitely need to write my Mystery Dungeon fanfic more, because... Because, funnily, 
I have, uh, bu -bu -bu oh, an escape orb. That's not bad. But, like, I have, I've gotten a bunch of new ideas for my Mystery Dungeon fanfic. And I need to just make it all fit together properly. So many ideas. Let's see. What is a heal seed again? Heal status effects, I guess. Ba -ba. Warp seed. I guess we'll keep the sleep seed just in case. I have lots of Pekka Berries. Hmm. I shall redeem it now. Let's see. Blue card, my first Pokemon game. Right, blue! Is it a win? Is it not? That's right! Is that so? That's not too bad. Darn it, but I got a Max Elixir. Not bad. If I was, like, uh, more consistent with my art, I would even try to make a full-on Mystery Dungeon comic, webcomic. I still need to make, like, the mini-comics, though. Because I think that would be a lot of fun. <gasps> like Silas reacting to Neon the Zorua having a <laughs> dusk globe. He's like, come on, that's not fair! Oh, are you all ready for the expedition? The expedition will be a long journey. You should be stocked up on items. Are you all ready? Incidentally, you may not bring any members of your team that aren't members of the guild, understood? I know. Good. You appear to be in full readiness. When the other apprentices assemble, I shall commence the briefing. Until then, just wait. All accounted for, it appears. <laughs> but yeah, Mystery Dungeon has just consumed my life so much that a part of me is just like... Wanting to binge through all of them, so after I beat, like, uh, Explorers of Sky in its post-game, immediately move on to Gates to Infinity. All accounted for, it appears. Well then, let me explain about this expedition. First, the objective, exploration of Fogbound Lake. Fogbound Lake? Correct. It is a lake that is said to be located far to the east. However, it is perpetually enshrouded by a dense fog. As such, its actual existence has never been confirmed. It is merely the foggy mirage of a spot that lives in this day on rumor alone. It is also rumored a treasure of exquisite beauty is hidden there. Wow, treasure? We're going on a treasure hunt! This is so exciting! Yep, it will be fun, fun, fun! <laughs> Everyone, open your wonder maps, please! That is not Chetot, so I am a fool. First off, this is where Fogbound Lake is said to be. As an uncharted territory, the area is shown under a cloud cover. That's very far away. Our guild is here. As you can see, the lake is at a considerable distance from the guild. Therefore, we will encamp at the foot of the highlands here. That will serve as our base camp. If we were to travel all at once in a single group to the base camp, our mobility would be restricted. The strategy is to split up into several groups to travel to the base camp. Bus camp. I shall announce those groups now. The first group is Sunflora, Loudred, Diglett, and Krogunk. You guys, you better not hold me back. You should talk. The next group is Dugtrio, Chimaco, and Corfish. We're a solid group. I promise to try my best. Hey, <laughs> likewise. Um, let's see. The Guildmaster and I shall travel as a pair. That is acceptable, yes? Aw, uh, I have to go with Chadot. That's so boring. Please don't be difficult. This is a key element of our strategy. Meanie. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. As our guest, Team Skull, should travel independent of us as their own group. Understood. <laughs> and the final group is Silas, Neon, and Bidoo. We're in the same group. I hope I can keep up. Yep, yep. <laughs> same here, Bidoo. Well then, everyone, let's get to it and move out. Hooray! And thus, 
the guild's expedition party began making its way toward Fog-Bound Lake. According to plan, the party was split into the designated groups, and Neon, Silas, and Bidoof's group plotted its course. The group settled on a route along the seacoast to reach the base camp. Would you like to save your adventure? Yeah, I would. Chapter 7, The Guild's Big Expedition I like this. Wow, the sea is right up this way, Neon. And just look at this cliff. Yep, yep. I reckon this is looking more and more like a true expedition. The path ahead surely will get tricky. It's just what real explorers like to see. In this, this here is something well known to all us explorers. It's a Kangaskhan rock. Kangaskhan rock? Yes, sirree. You heard right. That there's a Kangaskhan rock. A Kangaskhan rock lets you stow and take out items, and it lets you save a record of your progress. It's a real help to travelers. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to use Kangaskhan rocks. But, Badoof, you did. Back in the Star Cave. Reckon I should not have talked like a big shot. Well, I just want to say again that this, this is my first expedition. I'm feeling kind of nervous, by golly. <laughs> it goes for us, too. We're all beginners at this. Let's just do our best. Let's check the wonder map. Our present location is here. We're supposed to link up with everyone at the base camp. That's way over here. So as a first step, we could try reaching this spot. Want to try reaching here as our first objective? Yep, yep, I agree with that. Silas is acting like a leader. I didn't notice it before. It must be the excitement from exploring that's bringing it out. But Silas, who was so timid before, is trying so much harder. Yeah, Silas is getting stronger and more confident bit by bit. Oh, huh? <laughs> Problem? If you look closely here, there are two entrances. Uh, two? Now that is mighty vexing. What do we do, Neon? Which way should we go? I think the side paths in this game are just like, oh, hey, go here for grinding. I'm going to go Craggy Coast. Okay, Craggy Coast it is. All right, now. Let's all three work as one and get this done. Craggy Coast. And uh, please don't uh, be a bird in Bidoof. You jerk. I shall use my ultimate combo on you. Ah, shit. Poor Bidoof, he doesn't get any experience from this. He deserves experience, too. Good job. Take him down. Take him clown. I forgot to set... Hmm. I already forgot how to, like, organize my diddly D. Can I do this? Aha! There we go! And now I'd like to set. Throw a rock at you. I'm really enjoying the music in this dungeon. It just seems exciting. How dare you hit me, you jerk. Beg on, Satan. Oh, level up time. Huzzah. Kecleon shop, but he just has gummies and stuff that I don't really care to buy. I'm an explorer. I find things on my own. And we're being followed by a Krabby. We're gonna turn him into a patty. Rock. And then he died anyway. Goodbye, Krabby. No one will miss you. You've become crab cakes. Yeah, again, the music. The vibes. Being my main team again, I did like the special episode, but 
having my partner Silas by my side is a special feeling. I wonder what it'd be like to be an actual Pokemon explorer. A fanciful daydream. You jerk. I've been mud bombed. I'm being mud super bombed all over the place. Stop. Stupid crab. Don't make me look bad. Your bubbles missed me. And then I might my, my base game, do you stop? There was a misfest there for a while. Oh boy, Apple. We'll have to make sure that Badoof doesn't eat it all. I like the vibes of this cave. The walls are well, slightly off-putting, but the whole vibe comes together really nicely. Especially with the music. You try to block my entrance? You fool. Your water gun means nothing to me. Leave Bidoof alone. Really, Bidoof's, uh... <gasps> it's a treasure box! It's a treasure box! We can open it once we get back home. And what's faint? Breaks through the enemy's protect status to inflict damage. Hmm. Hit power of four and a hit ratio of six. Normal physical enemy in front. And it breaks breaks through a Remember that. I mean, I could get rid of Bite so that he could faint Force Palm. Really, the only advantage to Bite is that it gives him another attack to do. I won't risk it, especially because we can't link them here. We can always go to Electivire and remember it later. Good, I leveled up! Good level up for the boy. Light box. I can't believe they put Light Yagami in this box. I completely skipped around a stat reset floor. I'm a moron. Again, I like the music. It's so upbeat and happy. I need to learn the name, like, dedicate myself to learning the name of the composers to these games, because they're so good all the time. That's so good! Some of the songs alone just make me tear up because they're so good. As well as they evoke vibes. You bastard. And I don't have to worry about uh, Silas getting annihilated by water types until he evolves into a Lucario. Because that's when he becomes part steel type. Bash away. Get bit. Idiot. One of these days I'll need to play around with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon sound font I downloaded. Then I can become the greatest Pokemon Mystery Dungeon sound user ever. Well, that was weird. He aimed at Bidoof, and yet it seemed to try and hit me. What a weird little guy. Where's a normal apple? We did rearrange our stuff to stack the diddly dees on top of each other. Sorry, Bidoof, not for you. You'll just eat it all, and we'll all starve. That was my last chocolate, and now you, I'm gonna starve. Oddly enough, I don't think I've watched a single full episode of SpongeBob in my entire life. I only know it through, like, episode reviews and memes and just other various internet exposure. Oh, it's a Sfeel! It's Attack of Sfeels. The Sfeels attack. They're gonna fight back. You 
you have chosen a poor day to fight back. Never mind. The doof has decided not to fight back. He's defending himself. He should have done that at the start of the floor. Get smacked, idiot. I used headbutt. When did you learn headbutt? You had rollout last time we talked. I'm just like, where the hell did I... Oh, there's down there. I thought it would all loop in on itself. I need to clear that state... Uh, well, not status, but like, clear that stat effect and stuff. No, the boy! Good job. The Dratinis are scary. And I doubt we'll be recruiting any Dratinis. Mostly because I help. I'm sorry, I'm confused. That's why I'm not using any moves. I'm being assaulted. I'm already confused. Okay, good. I recover from my confusion. Now I can turn around and throw a rock at him. Jerk. Of course, he did it in a hallway like a coward. Really, I'm impressed that I only attacked Silas once. Another one! It's a shiny box! I'm gonna I'm gonna spend so much money opening these so I can get all of the Zorua and Rialu items. It's gonna be fucking fantastic, I swear you. Get smacked in face, Celio. Especially because Sh Silas is just here for murder. Again, it's just hilarious. Oh, whoa, I am but a scared Rialu gets into a dungeon. I am going to murder everyone. It's like that, oh, what, what meme image is it? It's that, ah, oh, it's a Spongebob meme of, like, Squidward leaning over Spongebob. We're gonna fucking kill you. I didn't need to come up here. He just murdered him. Good for you. Somebody else picked up some rocks. You can stop doing that. I don't think I can control your diddly D. Well, we'll see about that after this fight. Rock. You don't need to use all your force bombs. Let's see, can I control Badoof? I cannot control Badoof. He is an escort man. It would have been funny if that money that was in the middle of the ground if I picked it up immediately, a bunch of monsters rose up around me. You fool! Your greed has doomed you! I like traps that are basically, hey, this is a trap. If you spring it, it's on you. Those are always fun. I'm so happy that I'm not Bidoof, where that water gun would annihilate me. It's another box! I'm getting so many goddamn boxes. I don't remember these for a moment. I swear. Haha, <laughs> idiot. I don't do on course. Yeah. Time for you to be annihilated. But yeah, I swear. I played this game ages ago, years ago, and yet I don't remember the boxes or the swap cauldron. Haha, <laughs> idiot. And we got an apple that we can eat. Hopefully we'll be able to open them in town. That's what I want to do. There's going to be so many of them and I'll be able to trade them in for stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, but do we almost left you. To be fair, you should have uh, crossed over like us. Come here. 
be I swear, I don't remember the swap shop items. It's entirely possible that I've just, like, completely ignored the cauldron. So when I started getting these boxes, I'm like, what do I do with these? Because I was a dumb kid and probably didn't read anything. Knowing child me, child me just looked at the, the uh, like, hey, I'm opening up my cauldron. And it's like, I don't care, I leave. Because I am but a fool. And I only evolved into a bigger fool. And for some reason that reminded me that I wanted to draw, like, a Sylveon but with unique colors because I'm an edgelord. I'll need to do that. Maybe that could be my Pokesona or whatever. I need to have a lot more. Just experience of drawing Pokemon. A grand experience. Oh, hey, the rock. Rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson and his contractual obligation that he never loses an on-screen fight. I still think that's a little silly. It's like that one guy. I forget his name. They had him on for a movie, and he was playing a character that had to lose. Oh, no. No, oh, it's a gorgeous box. That's probably the best box we've gotten yet, and it fell in the water. Ugh. Pain. Oh yeah, but I forget his name. He's like some wannabe martial arts guy. He's like, I'm super good at martial arts when he really isn't. And he was also like, I'm not gonna lose this fight uh, as I play this character. So they just filmed the scene until he left and then they filmed the parts of his character getting beaten up but with a, <laughs> a, 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 uh, what's his name? What's the name of, like, the role in the production? A stunt double. I guess a losing double in this case. Whew, by golly, I reckon we're finally through. Yes, but we still have a long ways to go for the base camp. Let's check the wonder map. Our present location is here. The base camp is here. We're almost there. I reckon we've gotten ourselves a lot closer. We're nearly there. Cross over this mountain, we'll reach the base camp. Whoops, that was my belly growling. <laughs> Us too. If we start climbing the mountain now, I think it will be night before we finish. Do you want to call it a day? We can rest here tonight. I agree completely. And let's eat. Yeehaw! He's an adorable little guy. The next day. All right, gang, we have to get moving. I would like to access Kangaskhan. Crossing this mountain's going to take us to the base camp. Yep, let's get it done. I would like to first check storage so I can put things away. I'll put this geo pebble away. Let's see. So happy I got so many things. He's so amazing. I can hold so much. I like the music that's playing. It's kind of a bop. And also I just noticed like the way like the, the rock backgrounds here are drawn. I really like how they're drawn. All we gotta do is cross over this mountain here. Let's do it. Are you ready? All set. Which way should we go? I think Mount Horn is the way, because it's just like, oh, side path, rock path. Let's go Mount Horn. All right, Mount Horn it is. All right, let's roll out. But not use the move, because it's bad. We could exit right now, but I want to find items. I've been constricted. Damn it. Silas, help me.
I really wish I could control your moves, Bidoof. Again, I really like the music. I just really like these games. Not a super fan of, like, the gameplay when it gets super difficult. But the world, man. The world and everything. That's why I keep wanting there to be, like, a game set in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world. But with, like, different gameplay. Again, I keep saying it, like, every time I stream this. But a 3D beat-em-up Mystery Dungeon game? Same world, same general premise, but it's a just different gameplay. I love it. Hello, hello. We played the special episode, uh, Bidoof Swish, I think it's called. It was very nice. Lots of fun. And now, we're going through on the expedition. And here we thought that we weren't going to be chosen for the expedition. I'm late, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, it's fine. Everybody has a life out there. I probably shouldn't have used to move by now. That shroomish was tanky as all hell. Besides, that's why I upload these streams as VODs on the YouTube channel. So that people can experience my journey even after the live journey is over. Goodbye, uh, Beautifly. Level up time! I am becoming a god. Yeah, I just really like this. Rescue Team will always hold a special place in my heart, but... Like, the characters, situations, and overall presentation and story of Explorers is just so good. I do kind of worry of, like, the other... Oh, a TM! Light screen. A move that I'll probably never use, but hey, a TM! They're rare! They're rare. You can heal all you want, but you're still going to die. Oh, you're going to do it twice in a row because you are a dick. Chuck. Level up for the boy, Silas. I leveled up. I'll do better now. And all the stat ups for the boy. I have a question. What was your reaction to the true criminal of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations? Basically, it was kind of like, wait, no, wait, <laughs> kind of in a way. Because once it struck, I'm like, everything clicked into place. And it's just like, it was so topsy-turvy, and like, I think I even kind of called it to a degree in my head. I'm not sure if I ever actually voiced it. I was just like, hmm. Well, he, he wasn't there on the first day. I wonder why he wasn't there on the first day. I still didn't get, like, all of the twists and turns, and I jumped to a lot of different, like, crazy ideas over the case... Uh, case over the course of the case, but it was a lot of fun. Your pure enjoyment of this game is a wonderful thing to hear. I passed out right after you saw it. <laughs> I'm sorry that it went on for so long. It was just one of those things like, oh, surely we're near the end. Oh, surely we're near the end. It was a seven hour stream. That is not going to be the norm. Unless a, a, be a benevolent billionaire decides to throw some Twitch bits my way. If this were my full-time job, you bet your ass I would do seven hours streams every day. Every single day. Now that's a schedule I could stick to. But when it comes to just doing streaming for fun... <laughs> oh, the agony of a seven-hour stream. Thank God that I moved in this position. <laughs> this is your case of, I have to know. It wasn't even that, it was just like, oh, surely we're near the end. I just thought the end was closer than it was. And then it just kept going, and going, and going. It was a wonderful experience, and the ending of, like, the post-trial stuff was magical. 
The character stuff, I have to say, is some of my favorite. Phoenix Wright has wonderful characters and world and stuff. I love it. And I can't wait to someday get the Apollo Justice Collection. I'll probably do, like, a small break from it. Well, at the same time, can't exactly super splurge. But if it, if it ever goes on sale, I'll definitely grab the Apollo Justice Collection when it comes to Steam. And grab it on sale. Because Steam sales are nice. But brand new, I have to hold off. Because the world... The world is mean and deprives us all of joy. Maybe Apollo Justice can sue the world. Point at it and win. I'm a fool. And I thought I was like, oh, where's the exit? Yeah, we, we passed by it like two rooms ago. You idiot. You fool. You meringue. Hello, Zatu. Die. <laughs> well, I did have an idea regarding that. There's a fan case that explores how Pearl was really affected by trials and tribulations. Interesting. Funnily enough, I did watch a YouTube video recently advertising a Phoenix Wright case creator. So you can use pre-existing locations and sprites and stuff to create your own original unique cases, which I think would be pretty cool. I think it's new. Nice, I think it's new. This is why I brought Big Apple. I devour New York City. How they thought she was affected. Yeah, because again, personally, I would have thought Pearl was more, like, traumatized and distrusting of her mother after what happened in the second game. But who knows? Regarding the case editors, it's been out for years. I'm sure that there's been case editors for years, but it feels... Or at least the, the trailer that I saw made it seem like it was super brand new, but who knows. M maybe I just misread the date, and it was actually a far older one. I am known to be a fool. Fool that I am. And now I'm just reminded, I think there's like... Two or three My Little Pony fan games that are Phoenix Wright. One is literally a Phoenix Wright crossover, and one I think is just in the style of Phoenix Wright. It's been years since I've thought of them. Pyrite does get updated very frequently. Neat. Murder the butterfly. Murder them. Devour them. Eat their wings. Go into Skyrim. Use them for alchemy. I think we can kill you. Good job, Bidoof. You didn't use your, uh, diddly D. An Eritexia? Why is there an ancient dinosaur here? And why is it throwing rocks at me? What is that happening? Woo, woo, woo. Leave the boy alone. Come on, Bidoof, you've murdered tons of these in Starcade. There is one that crosses Phoenix Wright with Disgaea and is an actual crossover game. Oh, yeah, the actual cross crossover game with uh, Professor Layton. Yeah, I know that one. Ancient dinosaur steak, yum. Become, uh, become Goku. Kill dinosaurs for food. I still don't understand why Dragon Ball has active dinosaurs. They just seem to exist. Goku versus Barney the dinosaur win? Pineco. Oh, Jesus! You motherfucker, you stole my shit! Did it eat my reviver seed? Kill him. Kill him now. I think it took one of my reviver seeds. Or did it? It did something to a reviver seed in there. I saw a reviver seed come up on my diddly d. I don't know. Now I'm just gonna be like, did it steal from me? That motherfucker. Another ancient dinosaur. You've heard of ancient aliens. Now get ready for ancient dinosaurs. It's still gonna be completely inaccurate and full of insanity. It's like, look at this obviously explainable thing that's normal. We're gonna say that it is aliens. The message log may tell you if it did. 
Where's the message log? I, I'm a fool. I did had to access it. Is it in others? Ah, message log. Let's see. There's a pair of uh, bug bites. And I'm too far away. Oh, well. Oh, because it's only for this floor. I'm a fool. If I wanted to know, I should have used that. Personally, I would have had that on the main menu section. Like, uh, this menu and not buried within others, but oh well. Do, do, do. I love the music in this. It's so good. You can stop wasting your growl on it. It's not going to come after us. It's stuck there. It's a cocoon. How dare you tackle me, Venomoth? <laughs> Foresight. Zoroa isn't a ghost type. Not in, not here, at least. And now I'm suddenly reminded of the fanfic idea of, like, Zoroa care... That motherfucker needs to die now. But reminded me of the fanfic idea, or, like, a yeah, kind of idea, where basically Zoroa character dies, comes back as Hisuian Zoroa. Although usually they have to have bitterness in their hearts. Man, the game's not throwing any reviver seeds at me to be found. I had to drag them here. I had to import my reviver seeds. As far as dinosaurs in DBZ, I think they were mostly hunted down in Dragon Ball. Hilariously, I think that got retconned to Beerus. Uh, failing to destroy the dinosaurs. Like, dinosaurs? I destroyed them a long time ago. Surprise, they're here. You idiot cat. Who knows, maybe I'm just misremembering. It's been a bit since I consumed mainline Dragon Ball stuff. Rock time. I love having a big inventory bag. Thank you, game, for giving it to me. It is, makes me very happy. Restrictions can be, like, used to, like, add to things, but... Like, earning the ability to have all that I want and need is a nice experience. The Cascoon waked up because it is a motherfucker. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you entered into death. I still don't know what that is. Woo woo woo. Oh, level up time! We started this at level 14. I can learn a move. What move is it? Faint attack. Ooh. <laughs> I have stats and levels and I'm stronger. But what about rock? The rock is very good. Inflicts damage on the target and it never misses. But it's only a four power attack. It is always hit, but four power attack. What about, like, Fury Swipes? Also four power, but... Ver uh, and also this... Mm. So yeah, goodbye Fury Swipes. I'm gonna have Faint Attack. Yes. And also I get Stab off of it. Well, now my brain just went into a, a place. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. But, yeah, my brain, it went to a place. I'm not sure if I should repeat it in polite company. But at the same time, brain is saying, eh, do it. Do it. You're <laughs> the inner Palpatine. Just do it. Yeah, my brain is just like, I don't know why. It's like... It went, oh, Pokemon level up, their stats grow and stuff. Like the their strength and special attack and stuff. So it means almost physically that they grow when they level up. Does that mean they get a bigger schlong when they level up? Because brain just is, is, is melting right now. We have been going for three 
hours now, but still. So yeah. Once we get to the expedition part, like after this dungeon, probably. Probably stop. Because that's just a sign of brain going places. I love my faint attack. I finally got a dark move. I am very happy. It lets me murder. It lets me murder strongly. Also, I don't know why. Here's a question. Why was I getting a ton of those, like, chests that I can, like, pay to open up in the last dungeon when now there's, like, none of them? I don't know. Oh, great. It's the dinosaur squad. Get annihilated. My faint attack is godly. I love it. Apply previous weird brain thought here. Good, I leveled up! And of course, brain then went, and that's not all that went up. <laughs> Growing poles of levels. It's funny as fuck. Where am I pay to win chests? Because, yeah, I got a ton of them in the last dungeon. So, I don't know. Still laughing when I saved someone's love, they gave me their unborn child. Congratulations, you became the Wicked Witch in that scenario. I'm going to annihilate you now. Because I can do this. Thank you, Stab. I think they're talking about how they did a mission in this game, and then they gave them an egg. So it's just like, you saved my my friend and or husband. Have egg. That was an entire chapter. Okay. Chapter 8, Groudon's Heart. <sighs> well, we did it. We got over Mount Horn. We finally made it, Yasuri. We have arrived at the base camp. Thanks for saving my lover. Here, take our kid. We don't need them. I'll make another. Harsh. Howdy, folks. Sorry to keep y'all waiting. You all are late! Everyone else arrived a long time ago! Ah. Uh, so get your equipment down, make haste! Now with everyone assembled, let's get on with our strategy breathing. Yes, sorry! Huh? What's wrong, Neon? What's this weird sensation? I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I... Wait a second, I know this place! Have I been here before? Maybe. Does it have something to do with me before I lost my memory? Come on, come on! We haven't got all day! Also, I kind of find it amusing that we have wiggly tough tents. Let's go, Neon. Bidoof being a country hick just makes me think of Hank Hill. Oh, man. Now there, Bobby, I do not accept this kind of weird thing that you found. But, Dad, uh, it's a reviver seat, Dad. It'll keep me safe. A revive what now? Um, attention, please. It appears everyone has arrived at our base camp safe and sound. We shall now proceed to the exploration of Fogbound Lake. As you can see, we are in a densely forested area. Somewhere within this forest, Fogbound Lake is supposedly concealed. But so far, that has been nothing more than a rumor. Exploration teams of all stripes have mounted many a challenge, but so far, the lake has eluded discovery. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey! So, is it really there or not? This Fogbound Lake? Silly corefish. You'll wreck the dream if you say something like that. <laughs> well, me and Apollo are now fathers. Because <laughs> he got an egg. Yeah, don't spoil things now! Hey, hey! Um, may I? Um, while we were traveling, I heard about a certain legend. A legend, you say? Yes, a legend about Fogbound Lake. According to the legend, Fogbound Lake is home to a Pokemon named Yuxi. The Pokemon is said to, have to be exceedingly rare. Interesting. I wonder if this means in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon World, like, multiple legendaries is normal. Everyone given Corfish the evil stare. 
because he's daring to wreck the dream. Yuxi is set to lock eyes with others and wipe their memories clean. What? Wipe their memories clean? That is why even if travelers were happen uh, were to happen upon found bound found bound fog bound lake, Yuxi would wipe their memories clean, thereby muzzling the travelers from revealing the existence of the lake. And that is how Yuxi protects fog bound lake. I was told such a legend remains. Golly, that's a pretty hair raising tale. Badoof, you have literally met Jirachi. <laughs> you have met Jirachi. <laughs> You have met one of the super rare Pokemon. What'll I do if my memory is wiped clean? I don't think you have much to worry about. After all, you're so forgetful anyway, you make me go eek! Ahem. You should realize that places of this sort can be expected to have a folktale or a legend attached to them. Our guild has overcome difficult challenges and obstacles when conducting successful explorations. Absolutely eek! That's how our guild has earned the reputation of being first class. Despite the fact we're all apprentices. The only people that are, like, veteran explorers are Wigglytuff and Chatot. And Wigglytuff is just there, having a thousand-yard stare. <laughs> don't worry. Everything will be all right. Let's believe in success for this adventure, too, and... Let's try! Let's try! Let's move on with our plan. The Guildmaster and I shall remain here to gather intelligence from our teams in the field. You are to go off in teams to explore this forest. Be aware that this forest is enshrouded in a deep fog. Once you enter it, visibility is severely restricted. We think that Fogbound Lake has defied discovery because of this fog. Perhaps there is a way of lifting this fog. Therefore, your search is twofold. One, search for Fogbound Lake. And two, find a way to lift the fog. Mother and father Yuxi is making a tenderness Yuxi and leaving. Coming back to their child being beaten and stolen. Jigglypuff sounded like Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. I've never watched his Hunter x Hunter. Isn't Hisoka that guy? The clown guy? The guy you don't want to leave children with? That guy. <laughs> and two, finds a way of to lift the fog. If you accomplish either thing, return to the base camp and tell me or the guildmaster. That is all. All right, everyone. Let's give it our best as always. Hooray! <laughs> yes. Oddly, I didn't think that Hisoka would sound like that. Let's all try our best. It'd be nice if we made a discovery or two. We'll find the lake, I'm sure of it. I'll be the first to find it! Dad, do you think... <laughs> hey, Dad, do you think maybe Fogbound Lake could be under the ground? <laughs> Dick with being Bobby Hill. I was thinking we should try looking underground. Ah, my son, my pride and joy. You make me proud. Let's look underground. Okay, everyone, we're off. Zoop. Hey, 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 we can't afford to dawdle either. Yep, yep, we need to hurry. Well then, we should go too, boys. <laughs> <laughs> They're like One Piece characters. They have unique laughs. Let's go, Neon. We need to hurry. I know this place. According to the legend... The Pokemon Yuxi can wipe clean the memories of others. Are these two things really just a coincidence? Hmm. Maybe I came here before I lost my memory. Then maybe I met Yuxi, and he wiped my memory clean. Could that have happened? Hey, Neon! Why do you keep drifting off like that? It's not like you. Hurry, let's get ready and go into the forest. First, I'd like to check storage. Oh, well, more so just that I'm uh, hearing a clown, so that was the first one to the bottom. <laughs> that makes sense. Could also be a lighthearted joker. Ooh, like Jester from the blah, blah, blah. One of those, like, heroes are villains and villains are heroes worlds. I'm going to have to do believe I'll need to bring... 
like more. Yep, I'll definitely need to bring more apples with me. <laughs> Alternate universe, yes. Exactly. I think that we still have. Let's see. Uh, we have two Reviver Seeds, that should... Mm, but we're probably going to run into some boss battles in there. So I'll take one more, like, Reviver Seed. I'm going to click that. So that everything can be... organized. I'll take some more apples. I should have done that a long time ago. And a Reviver Seed. Especially because we have lots of room in our diddly D. And then I'd like to save. I like the music that's playing in this base camp. Ah, you two! You have yet to leave? Get ready quickly, then be on your way! Uh, by the way, you can use the Kangaskhan Rock to store and take out your items, and to save your progress. So you should try using the Kangaskhan Rock to sort out your inventory. No matter how you choose to do that, just do get ready quickly, and then head out. Oh, I have. Oh, I wish the gang would report in soon. Oh, this is exciting. I like this. No, the bag. <laughs> Neon, we need to go. No, the bag must be organized. Yep. But I do believe that that will do it for now because. We have been going for three and a half hours, and we did a special... And two hours of that was the Bidoof Switch special episode. Before I truly go, I would just like to bedazzle your minds with some art that I've made recently. This first piece I made a few days ago when somebody suggested I draw a gazebo. So, have there be Shane the Rialu and Maya the Eevee. And then, of course, I drew a second one yesterday, which I do really like. Has lo <laughs> First time really dedicating to a super background and drawing the two characters again. I really did enjoy it. Drawing has going, been going lots of fun lately. It's a wonderful thing. Like always, art like that can be found uh, through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonizemings, and then on the various social medias that I do post to, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and more. For other things, I have an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I swear content is coming there eventually. And then, of course, for streaming, there's the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel, where I stream to, as well as um, upload all these streams as VODs afterwards, so you can experience all the adventures I've gone on in the past, like Mass Effect, Trilogy, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Undertale, and more. And then if you prefer to watch through Twitch, twitch.tv, I also stream there, because it's just a thing. Ah. Dual streaming's fun. Other such things I do is like the art that I've already mentioned and writing with two links to various da -ba -da, writing resources. So if you want to read stories I've doth written, then then. <laughs> Dakim, I forgot about him from Coliseum. It feels like they just added him in to Coliseum. <laughs> like, after the other admins. It's like, oh, we need a fourth one. And then he just exists. He seems funny to me. And again, he seems like that, uh, I think, Generation 5 champion. He amuses me. I just like to return to them before uh, the VOD or put it as a background in my room. I don't mind that. Uh, these <laughs> streams do happen to be decent, put on the background kind of generation thingies. Can be a fun time listening to people experiencing things. But let's see. Other things. Yep, my writing resources are found in my link tree. And if there are people with who are affluent enough and are feeling kind, I also link to my Patreon in my link tree. So if you want to throw a dollar do my way to ease the fog of my heart, you can do that. And again, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, can be found in the description of YouTube videos, bio of Twitch and stuff, and basically any place a link would be, my link tree can be found there. Mm -hmm. But yes, again, really liking Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It is so fun. When the difficulty spikes, I do get annoyed, but I still love the game. It's just me venting my rage. So I might not be all there in the head, being like when I try to psychoanalyze the game to be like, I am correct! I am correct! Even though I'm probably not. 
I just love this game. And again, it's infecting my mind so much, a part of me just wants to binge through all the Mystery Dungeon games now with no break for other games. Do Explorers and the post game, then on to Gates to Infinity, then on to Super Mystery Dungeon, because I like these games and the music. Good night or good day, and good night, day, morning, or evening to you as well. Once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm an idiot. Once again, mention for stream schedule, the next stream should be Saturday. At 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will continue with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. As always, my stream schedule should be Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Haha. <laughs> But now that that's done, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've had a good day, a good time at this stream. So be true, be you, and have a good day. Bye, bye.